Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sound Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. of Sewing Street, why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Good morning, my lovely friends. Welcome to Sewing Street. It's Saturday, and actually, bigger than that, it is National Quilting Day, yeah? It started in 1991. It is an American thing, but it's become global since then. Hey, in my world, every day is quilting day. Maybe in yours too, but definitely today here on Sewing Street. Thank you for joining us. Let's start as we always do with our early bird. I could see your shadow then, cat. <laughs> cat, our camera off crawling behind there. I could see a shadow on the quilt. Anyway, anyway, our early bird today. The winery experience in a panel. Hello, hello. This one's for me. This is great. I love this. So much fun. $9.99. <laughs> I think this is awesome. Kind of watercolour painted effect. Let's start with the main image, which is this gorgeous, I don't know, is it Tuscany? Maybe? Alsace? Somewhere beautiful. It's kind of that lovely balmy warmth. It's summertime. There's a little trestle table and there's olives and there's bread and cheese. And of course, a beautiful bottle of wine. Love these grape vines and leaves all around the outside. It's a beautiful image. And then along the top, oh, hello. Pick 
pick your poison. <laughs> now then, little rose, little cheeky rose, little little uh, a little uh, chardonnay, maybe. Yeah, maybe there's a little blush there. This probably Shiraz, I think. I think it probably is Shiraz. This one very much Pinot Grigio, I'm thinking. Um, and I don't know, there seems to be quite a lot of rosé there, um, which is no bad thing. Um, no champagne, I see. And then along the bottom, Boutai. Now, I, I, I must admit, I'm not much of a wine connoisseur. Charlie does try and educate me. Um, I tend to buy the ones that have pretty labels. I buy wine based on the prettiness of the label. <laughs> but, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, I like, I, I mean, I tend to, uh, I don't know. I did buy some actually that, that, that was called something jam or jammy. Oh, and it was horrible. Oh, it was awful. Oh, oh. It pained me actually that I couldn't drink it, but I really, oh, no. Anyway, that aside, <laughs> cute. I love it. Should be 9 99 Let's crash the price. Come on, let's do it. Let's crash the price. Four ninety nine. I love that. Now, what are we going to do with this? Okay, so here's an idea. What about, I'm thinking, first off, let's take out the corners. Let's add straps, ties, and turn it into an apron. Yeah? So that's cute. Um, wine waiter. Hello, hello. Are they called sommeliers? Sommelier. Sommelier than what? That's what I want to know. Um, or, of course, quite obviously, a wall hanging. So you can make a really nice wall hanging. I might be inclined just to add a little bit of a border. Maybe something like take this kind of Merlot deep plummy purple and do a little border around the outside and then maybe a slightly wider border in a green just a solid would would work really well or a batik something like that maybe a bit of jason yenta would suit the um kind of watercolor painted effect um you could also rather nicely um cut this up um, I think that bottom edge, you could certainly use that with a little bit of fabric top and bottom, create some wine bot um, bottle bags for gifting. Um, similarly with this part of the panel, uh, I think you could probably make quite a nice little runner, just a slim runner. I'd probably add burgundy either side, you know, make a little... Do you know what I mean? If you've got a little bar area at home, you could have that for putting drinks on, something like that. You know, I think it's really cute. And of course, this centre panel would be lovely, made up into a, a wall hanging. You could use that as a medallion centre. Add some piecing around the outside. Yeah, really like that. Four ninety nine for that. Should be nine ninety nine. The hello, hello. <laughs> 3 99 for that today. That's amazing. Bag yourself a bargain. If you've already checked out your basket, remember, don't worry, you'll only pay 3 99 for that. That's terrific. That's really fun. I like that. Rhone Valley by Clothworks. Rhone Valley. It's 100% cotton, of course. Um, it's amazing, isn't it? Really cool. I like that. I like that. So, well, I think there's loads you could do with that. Like I say, you could split that up and make three different projects out of it. Um, if you have a holiday home, that would be really nice, wouldn't it, to have in the, the kitchen or the dining room, something like that. You could do a little wall hanging. And as I say, you could cut that out, put some plain borders, then you could put maybe some piecing some add some piecing some half square triangles some flying geese around the outside and pull out all those colors the different chartreuse and leaf greens the purples the plums the deep raspberry pinks there's a bit of bronze in there as well you could pull out all those colors and do flying geese around the outside edge or little star blocks something like that would be lovely very cute 3 99 today so many of you multi-buying this um remember they will come individually cut so if you buy three of these you'll get three individual panels sent to you what a lot of fun what a great way to start the day with a glass of wine <laughs> i love it
I love it. Something for the grown-ups there. Um, now, let's do the menu and see what's coming up on this National Quilting Day. Um, to start off, 8am, we've got Easter fabrics. And I'm going to share a little idea with you for making an Easter basket. Now, at 9 o'clock, we've got the Show Shopper Bag with Emma Bradford. Uh, that's gorgeous. It is a lovely bag. You'll make that loads of times. Uh, I'll show you actually it's a really good size too. Check me out look and isn't that a lovely fabric too? We've got a pack with the fabric in and the full pattern. I love these pleats along the front which really give it a lovely shape. Look isn't that lovely? Super bag. Um, really nice wealth on the top and I love a bag that doesn't require any metalware, hardware. You can put a little zip pocket if you like inside, there's a hack to do that, but um, otherwise on the bag it is just fabric. Good to go, really good, good staple that one. So that's coming up at nine o'clock with Emma Bradford and then at ten o'clock, haha, we've got bag and making supplies. Good chance to stock up there. We've got some lovely Lisa Lamb, we've also got Amanda Little's gorgeous William Morris bags back in stock. Now they sold out really quickly when they launched. I think it was last Saturday, wasn't it? They were on last Saturday. I was watching the show with my parents-in-law um, and uh, look beautiful. We've got the blue back in stock. So you might want to jump on the website and shop ahead before that disappears again. Now then, at 11 o'clock, we've got the Half Square Triangles Quilt with Emma Bradford. Now, this is going to be an absolutely fantastic hour because, we I mean, we all know, right, how versatile Half Square Triangles are, but Emma's really, really shown this in her quilt pattern. So we can go super simple, like this here. We've also got this one behind me. This is same pattern. There were about eight different layouts just in the pattern alone. Look at all those, nine in fact, different layouts. So clever. I love that one on the, on the left hand side in the middle. That's amazing, like a starburst. So that's coming up at 11 o'clock. And then at 12 o'clock, we've got Wool Couture Easter Mix with Mandy Cameron. It's going to be cuteness overload if you love bunnies. And frankly, who doesn't? Hello. So cute. Look, and there's also a little crochet lamb, which is just delightful. There, look. Super cute. I want one. In fact, I want a whole flock. Now, don't forget our fabulous early bird today. It is something for the grown-ups. <laughs> it is a little something for the grown-ups. It's the um, Winery Experience panel. Should be $9.99. And I'm going to hold it. It's fantastic. I love it. Glasses of wine across the top. A beautiful sort of, I'm going to say, Tuscan scene. Um, this is where I want to retire very possibly. Um, and then this beautiful sort of uh, frame of grapes and vines. And then along the bottom, which bottle would you pick? You can pick one. You can pick one. That's one of the nicest things about traveling, I think, trying the foods and the drinks, isn't it? And there's always that you you find like in I remember in Greece about 30 years ago discovering Retsina and thinking wow this is amazing I'm taking a bottle of this home and then when I got it home it just wasn't the same yeah it's sort of oh, I don't know yes mm, you know you think gosh but that was lovely when I was there and in Malta I had Frangelico which is like a hazelnut liqueur and I just thought it was wonderful there and then bought a bottle back and I've never touched it anyway that aside brilliant early bird 3.99 today uh, good morning from Rio and Lisa oh Lisa in Lincolnshire I thought it was good morning from Rio and Lisa. Morning Rio, morning Lisa. Thanks for your lovely message. <laughs> um, now let me see if I can get Facebook Live working because at the moment 
I can't. And now I can. There we go. Ha ha! Let's say morning. Christine says morning, everyone. Good morning to you. Hilary says morning, Stu. Love that panel. Isn't it fun? An amazing value. Six pounds saving. Um, Anne Hamilton. Morning all. You should pick wine with only two colours on the label. Why? I need to know why. I like that though. Um, Laurie says, morning Stuart. Nice to see your happy face. Have a lovely day. Going to the Yarn Festival in Norwich today. Might have to add to my stash. Oh, go and say hi to Eddie on, um, oh, what's he called? It's Australian. He's Australian. Just lovely yarn. Very nice. Um, have fun at that. Jan says, morning, Stuart. That bag is a fantastic size, says Jan. It really is. Steph says, morning, Stuart. King of the half square triangles. Beautiful quilts today to be square can be a good thing. I like it. Mo says, morning, handsome. Nice to see you. Happy face. Louise says, morning. Gorgeous. Thank you. Morning to you all. Lovely to have your company. Now, let's see how you can get involved, how you shop go to our website www.sewingstreet.com and then once you get there I mean you can call us we've got a great call center too um, but when you get there click on watch live and then you can send us a little message there go on send us a little message oh hi hi hello I'm Hannah Thank you. Oh, look at that. No capital on H though. Honestly. Um, there's our early bird. So many of you going for that today. What a great bargain and so much fun to have a go with. You could make a lovely tote bag actually out of the front, couldn't you? Plain back, use the bottles to make a pocket inside. Just an idea. And then if you scroll down, you'll see everything that's coming up on today's show. Uh, we've got loads of gorgeous Easter fabrics, loads of new there. Going to uh, uh, look forward to going through all of that with you. Little chicks, little bunnies, some gorgeous gingham, some great savings as well. So stick around for those. Um, so lots of lovely Easter fabrics. Hair today, gone tomorrow. Some lovely thread as well there. You'd be hopping mad if you missed these bargains, I'm telling you. Uh, some fleeceline there some fusible fleece um, bag making now then we've got some beautiful bag bundles this is for Eb emma bradford's show shopper uh really cool some great size as well isn't it you can put a zip inside a pocket inside if you want to um that's all on the web as well uh, you can also put fusible fleece inside if you want to. Emma's left it um, just lined, but if you want to add a bit more structure, you can. Uh, Lucy's, uh, Lucy Pixley's got in touch. Morning, Stuart Hillard. I'm on a spa day with my bestie, Erica. Can you tell her I love her to bits, please? Lucy, I certainly can. Erica, Lucy loves you to bits. Mwah. Lots of love to you both. Enjoy your spa day. Uh, Doreen says, morning, everyone. Joanne says, good morning, your panel. Would there be enough room on the bottle label to put someone's name on it? Thanks. I will grab it and have a look. I like that idea. Um, well, yes, I think they would actually. Oh yes, they would, look, have a look here. You could definitely put, you could, I mean, if you were using your brother, or your Elna, you could use the alphabet and you I'd probably sew it on a strip of grow grain ribbon and then sew that on. Um, or you could hand embroider or you could just draw it on with a with a you know a heat settable pen. Um, yeah there's there's enough space on these labels I think on some of them to write something definitely. I like I like the idea. I like the idea. We're going to go and have a look at some Easter panels. While we do, Lynn says, we bought two bottles of wine from an Australian winery whilst on holiday there. It tasted amazing when we sampled it, thought we'd have it with our Christmas dinner. It was awful and went down the sink. Oh no, Lynn, that's awful. That's awful. But you know, drinks do always taste better while you're kind of there, don't they? Um, just mention the monitor's not working in front of me. I can't see anything. It's just a black. Yes. We'll sort that. We'll sort that. Right. 
Let's do some panels. Let's do some panels. These are from Riley Blake. Oh, these are Henry Glass. I beg your pardon. Should we do the big one? Let's do the big one first. Oh, this is very cute. A bit retro. This is a little bit, I don't know, it's a little bit 70s, which I like. That's definitely retro for me. Oh. Oh, that's cute. Look, that is really cute. I love that. Oh, so you've got your little um, bunnies having an Easter party, I think. Love the hats, love the headwear, very nice. This, this plaid's rather nice as well in the background, isn't it? And then you've got a really big image here in the, in the rest of the, the panel. Um, Easter bunny delivering eggs, a little chick, a little rabbit. Um, she's delightful, love that. Uh, we've got ducks quacking all over the farm at the moment. Um, we've got our ducks, but then also yesterday some wild mallards decided to join <laughs> our party. So Charlie said actually they've been hanging around for the last week or so, so who knows what's going to happen. Well, they're just all out together, you know, having fun. So, I mean, they can come and go as they please. I mean, sort of farm ducks, if you like, can't really fly. So they won't, they won't escape, you know. Um, they, can, they can flap enough to get away from a, a predator, one hopes, but they can't exactly fly away. Anyway, but they'll have fun with their friends, won't they? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows how that will turn out? Anyway, love that panel. Would make a super Easter wall hanging, wouldn't it? You'd bring that out every year for sure. We've got some lovely coordinates for this as well. So if you're thinking I'd want to add a border, don't worry, we'll get to that. So uh, $8.99 for that. Brilliant price again. And I think you've got a little wall hanging and you've got a cushion there, haven't you really? Split those apart. Um, now the other panel that we've got is proving incredibly popular on pre-order. This is lots of smaller images. Now card makers, I'm thinking you could use this to make a load of Easter cards. You know, maybe a little bit of H640 behind that, just to pad it out a little bit. Perhaps a little bit of stitched detail and then put it into an aperture card would be super. Half the stock's gone already. Well done, everybody that's got that. Uh, Amanda says, morning all. Off out today for a meal with my children. It's my birthday. Amanda, loads of love <coughs> to you and your family. Have a wonderful birthday, won't you? Enjoy yourself. Have some wine, um, if you like. Uh, Kath says, Good morning, Stuart. Got the taste for red wine many years ago. You and me both, love. Um, whilst working in a school in Spain, where it was served... A morning break along with coffee. So, wow, wow. Uh, Steph says, I don't drink, Stuart. So I make mine a blood orange soda. Thanks, Chuck. Well, that sounds yummy too, actually. Liz says, our Aussie friend bought the same one and it was good. It just didn't travel well. Sometimes they don't, do they? Anyway, this panel, gorgeous, gorgeous images. You've actually got 15 different images there. That is splendid. So much value for eight ninety nine. I love it. And you've got little borders down the sides. Uh, now you could definitely use this panel for my uh, Easter basket idea, which I'll show you in a little while. Right, uh, a nice message. Uh, good morning, Stuart. I'm feeling rather blue as recovering from about a bout of flu, so I'm snuggled up on the couch watching for inspiration. Catherine, oh, I'm sorry you're not feeling well. Stay on the sofa, cuddle down, stick with us. It's the best place for you right now. We'll, we'll keep you inspired. Now then, let's look at some fabrics from this range. Can we start with the gorgeous stripe, please? Ending 6-8. You know me in a stripe, and these sort of feature stripes, I just think are such great value because they're almost like mini panels, aren't they? You know, for things like if you wanted to make a fun tote bag, then a solid, you know, like use your solid and then put a band across the top 
bit of machine embroidery and you've got a bag and then you've got so many different options on um, half a meter now you can multiply this of course if you want to put a border around that panel I'm thinking something like this all the way around now this actually this is the way it runs on the fabric so sell selvage and selvage so you'll get this if you buy a meter and a half you'd have that in a continuous length so it's the way you'd want it absolutely but even in half a meter you've got loads and loads of images and repeats there that you could use love the way the uh, I think that must be a toad mustn't it um, has got in on the act very cute yeah I like a toad in a top hat we found a toad once in the farmyard and it was super cute. They're very dry though, they're very dry. You expect they're, they're going to be kind of a bit slimy, but they're dry. <laughs> Honestly. Right, let's keep going with these coordinates. There's some lovely ones. Um, eggs. Eggs. Very, very popular this. There's less than 10 metres left. This is one of those good, you know, would would be so useful in your stash um, for Easter projects. Make little gift bags, little pouches, drawstring bags, little Easter Easter bags as well. Sandra says, "Morning, Stuart from the Costa del Couch. I'm going on my first walking group of the year this afternoon. Hopefully not too wet. Oh, fingers crossed. Sounds like fun. Where are you going? Amanda says, "I will have to drive. So a glass of Pepsi for me. Going to a steakhouse. Yummy. Oh." Yum. Oh, steak with a big salad. Yum. My favourite. Um, that is so, so popular. How many metres do we have left of this now? Seven metres left. It's going to sell out very quickly. Um, next one. I'm just looking at this because I can't actually... We've got the same fabric twice. Ah, right. This. So this is ending 02? 03. 03. last coordinate from that range but it's lovely isn't it it's got that lovely kind of bit 70s retro vibe love that little polka dot in the background on soft lilac very cute you would also also make a really cute um, little pinafore dress couldn't you out of that or napkins just some simple napkins you'd get two big napkins out of half a meter just cut out a big square, double hem the edge, or if you've got a rolled hem foot for your machine, just use that and do a tiny rolled hem all the way around the outside edge. Less than 10 meters of that one left. Okay, Rose and Hubble bundle. Mm. Chicks and eggs, yeah? So this is all of these. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six fabrics. This one, okay, right. So five fabrics in a bundle. This is from Rose and Hubble. Oh, there's some cute ones here. Love those, love those. So you're getting half a meter of each of these. So two and a half meters in total. Let's see the price. 29.95 for two and a half meters. So you've got chicks and eggs. Very, very cute. You've got daffodils and Easter eggs and blossoms. That's a lovely one. I like that. This very, very cute little uh, chicks cracking out of their shells. Normally, right after this point, they go like this. They come, they burst out of the egg. They go, hi, I'm... And then they just flop and they're asleep. And they sleep for about a minute. And they go... Oh. <laughs> and it's like that for about an hour. Very cute though, very cute. Um, and then adorable little lambs and ducklings and rabbits. Sweet. And then little rabbits with bouquets of flowers and Easter eggs. Those are really pretty. Half a metre of that is for free. 
you're only paying for two meters. It's 23.96 for five half meters. Gosh, that would be lovely. You could also buy little baskets and then make liners for them couldn't you out of this or another nice thing you could do you know big circle hem the outside edge uh, or sew a piece of thin elastic all the way around the outside under a bit of tension and then have them as you know easter and spring food bowl covers yeah rather than cling film look really decorative especially if you're having a party and you want to keep all your fa your food covered and fresh um less than Hannah, tell me. Less than 20 of those left now. Less than 20 of those bundles. Remember, you're getting half a metre for free, uh, which is fab value. Oh, Amanda's going to say, I hatched 15 chicks last summer. Such cuteness. They are, they're adorable. I'm, I'm going to do some more. Well, I'm saying I'm going to do some more. I think actually I'm going to get one of my chickens to brood some eggs. So that will be fun. I think. And if the mallard keeps on visiting, we might have some ducklings too. Good morning, Stuart, says Eve. Enjoying watching you. Going to be spending the day finishing a quilted duffel bag and a matching wash bag for my mum. Eve, that sounds lovely. Is that a Mother's Day gift? Sounds delightful. Have fun with that. Carol says, Morning, Stuart. These illustrations remind me of a book when I was young in the 50s, Bunny's First Birthday, Happy Days. They are, they've got that lovely sort of retro quality to them, haven't they? Retro, listen to me. We're retro now, Carol. We're retro. I love that. Now, this bundle that I've got right in front of me, we've got less than 15 left. Would you like them by the half metre? Let me show you. Let me show you. Can we start with the Easter eggs? This one ends 4-9. I love the colours in this. It's really fresh and springy. I love all that pink. So daffodils, Easter eggs. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Really pretty. Um, again, it's Rose and Hubble. It's 100% cotton. It's been really, really popular. It's 5.99 a half meter, which is awesome value. Awesome value. Now, what about making, you know, um, Easter shirts, little dresses, sundresses would be super cute made out of this. What about things like hair scrunchies or a hairband for Easter? That would be fun. Place settings. So, I mean, literally just, you know, um, a rectangle. You don't need to do anything fancy. A rectangle like that, a little binding around the outside. You could maybe put a little pocket on in a matching solid or same fabric with a little matching solid trim across the top to pop your cutlery and your napkin in. You could round off the corners, use a tea plate. Then you'd use bias binding to um, bind the edges. But just do something really simple. But that would really freshen up your spring and Easter table, wouldn't it? And at such great value, 5 99 for half a metre. Love that. Been very, very popular though. If you want that one, I'd grab it quickly. All right, now next up, let's do the chicks with the eggs. So this is definitely Easter basket territory. While I've got this fabric out, isn't that cute? They're dancing. Are you dancing? I am asking. I am asking. Now, let me just show you very, very quickly my Easter basket idea. Grab your pencil. You can write the measurements down. So the bottom part of this, eight inches across, seven inches. Okay. And then here's your handle, 12 inches long, two and a half inches wide. And you're just going to round the top off. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to cut out two of those from fabric, two of those from Bosal in our form, fuse them, to, or you could use maybe like a medium weight interfacing, fuse them together. You also want two of these cut out of lining fabric. Then what you're going to do is your two outers, lay them together. Okay, uh, sorry, your, your, um, your outer and your lining piece rather. Uh, you want to um, sew all the way around, okay, turn it through to the right side 
uh, you're going to then join a front and a back together okay box the corners so you'll end up with this little basket two sides and then your handle this handle you're going to have two of these one each side and you can just overlap them and then just sew like a little oval or something like that just to join them together and make a cute little basket if you use something like medium weight interfacing or in our form that'll hold its shape really nicely now look if you've got half a meter you're going to be able to make at least two of these if it's non-directional you could actually get four out of this but if it's a directional fabric you'd get um, two or maybe three you'd probably get three actually yeah you would you'd get three out of it so half a meter of lining half a meter of outer make three bags 5.99 for that very good very good dancing chicks <laughs> I love that okay next up we've got little chicks cracking out of their eggs ending six nine we've got some really gorgeous pastel solids actually coming up which would go beautifully with these fabrics this would be nice for a baby quilt too for your little chick that's just hatched very sweet very sweet Oh, Sandra's got back in touch to say, we're walking around Tollcross Park and the newly refurbished Winter Gardens, a coffee stop at the end of the course. Of course, of course. Got to have a drink at the end and something like a toasted tea cake or a scone, I would suggest. Uh, Steph says, years ago, my aunt kept chickens in Italy. I hated having a bath, so threw a bowl of water over some chicks. My aunt wasn't best pleased. They had to dry off in front of the fire whilst the peppers were roasting. Oh, but cute. Oh, and they go so fluffy, don't they, little new chicks? Beautiful. These are all proving very, very popular. They are gorgeous too. Fab value. Uh, such a cute material for Easter. Morning Stuart says, Patricia in Buckinghamshire. They are gorgeous, aren't they? And I think, you know, Easter and Christmas are those times of year where whatever your fabric tastes the rest of the year, you can go all out on the cute, on the fun, on the extra sparkles and things like that. Go in there with ribbon and trims. Now, I should let you know the mega bundle of these five fabrics um, is single figures. Single figures now. Remember, you're getting half a metre for free. Right, let's do ending 6-1. This is bunnies with blooms. Adorable. Such a cute fabric. Um, love the pastel shades in there. Love the fact that the bunnies have got little pastel noses as well that's very very cute um again you know these images are, are discreet enough that if you do card making you could do like a little aperture and you could center that you could also um put fusible web on the back fussy cut these out and applique them I think gift bags, yeah, gift bags would be very nice. Little zippy pouches, little drawstring pouches. I do have a cold. Oh, yeah, well, I'm a bit sniffly. I haven't got a cold as such. I've got sniffles. And I'm slightly, I'm slightly sniffy, which is irritating, isn't it? I'm sorry. Susan says, morning, Stuart. Even if you feel okay, well done for doing the show. As you sound like you have a cold, bless you, Trooper. Have a great show and weekend. Oh, thanks, Susan. I, do you know, it's just, I'm fine now. This last week, I've been really sniffly every day, but feeling fine with it, just sort of irritated by the whole, you know. Patricia from Buckingham, she says, good morning, Stuart. Loving the Easter fabrics. I have a husky voice too, from Patricia. Oh, I do, do you know, it's one thing I, I quite like the sort of husky voice sometimes. I do play on it. <laughs> yeah. 
And it, yeah, people have been saying to me all week, you sound husky. <laughs> last one, last one of this. This might be my favorite. Look at these, look. It's so cute. And the little lamb, little lambykins. Um, we do not have any lambs on the farm at the moment. We've got some very, very pregnant sheep. Very pregnant sheep. Um, Charlie sent me a video yesterday saying I think we might have some twins there, which is very unusual for the sheep that we've got. He said either that or they've been eating a lot, which I think is also possible. Um, but yeah, we shouldn't have, we, we'll probably have lambs about the middle of April, I think. I'll keep you posted. But these are adorable, I mean, just quintessential Easter images. Little rabbit, little lamb, little tricks, and a little duckling. Uh, very cute, very cute. Now then, I mentioned a lovely bundle of solids, and I think this is delightful. These are very nicely put together. This is a bundle. It's called kids pastels, not really sure why, because they're not, pastels aren't just for kids, they're for everyone. These are real lovely sugared almonds though, look at these, aren't they, bonbonieres, love those, they're a bit old fashioned now aren't they for a wedding, a sugared almond, but I love them, you just got to watch your teeth. These are delightful. You get six half meters. Now I'm thinking if you've gone for any of these, look how beautifully these go. Apps, you need this bundle, I think. Um, look, these beautiful, these, it all goes. And if you bought any of the Riley Blake, it is Riley Blake, no. Henry Glass, I'm obsessed with calling it Riley Blake. Henry Glass, this also works. Look, oh, that is stunning. Love that. If you bought the panels or you bought the stripe, any of these will go absolutely beautifully with these pastels. Quarter of the stock's gone. It's amazing value anyway, isn't it? 1974 for that. Uh, it's just fantastic. Um, if you want to get these just speculatively for your stash, wouldn't blame you. Wouldn't blame you. They, I mean, they'll be super useful to have. Um, really sweet colours together. The, imagine putting just plain white with these and doing little sparkly stars on a quilt. It's going to sell out. It's going to sell out without a doubt. Um, so grab this while you can, won't you? Grab this while you can. It's absolutely beautiful. I love that. Love that. Now we've so many other fabrics to get through. What should we do next? Let's do ginghams. Yeah, ginghams. Right. Okay, let's do medium. No. Both. Right. Gotcha. We've got medium and large together. So let me show you. Here's the large. Oh, this is buttery soft. I'm already thinking um, some beautiful table, um, you know, place settings, napkins. That's lovely. And then you've got the small gingham as well. So you've four of those and five of those. So you've nine, nine pieces. You're getting half a metre for free. This is Robert Kaufman, Crawford Large and Crawford Medium Gingham. Such beautiful quality. Do we have this by the half metre as well? We do on the website, because I'm thinking any of these would be really lovely for things like PJs as well. Oh, <gasps> that. Pyjamas in that. Yes, please. Very nice, but as a bundle, lovely. Would work really, really well with things like, you know, homespun or natural seeded cotton. Would look lovely, really charming. Nice for country style projects. Beautiful, great value as well. 55.92 for four and a half meters. Now, quite often we'll take half a meter off a mega bundle, but, Check this out. So 
five half meters of large gingham, 34.95 for two and a half meters, not today. Not today. You're going to save the equivalent of half a meter. You're going to pay 27 pounds and 96 pence for two and a half meters. It's absolutely timeless, isn't it, gingham? 100% cotton, it's a proper woven gingham as well, it's not printed, it's yarn dyed and woven, so it's good both sides. So for example, if you, if you want to make something, say like napkins, where you're just going to hem the edge, it's going to look great on both sides. It's lovely, really like that. That solid bundle, by the way, just about sold out. There's one left if you want to grab it, be really quick. Um, so you've got a lovely little soft powdery blue and navy, a cranberry red, that gorgeous mauvey pink, and then that golden yellow, that's stunning. And also just having your stash for things like, well, I know it's simple, but jam pot covers. You can't beat them, can you? They just look lovely. Little basket linings, tote bags. Yeah, there you go. Hannah, our producer, was just telling me she saw a lovely gingham shopping tote. £30, £30. Now then, this is two metres. I know it says two and a half metres, but you get two metres two meters of this okay so you get four half meters you get this slate gray the cranberry red delicious you get the golden yellow and you get the navy blue in a small gingham so two meters despite the fact that it says two and a half uh, for 27.96 except you're going to save a half meter on this as well and pay 20 pounds and 97 pence that's 10 pound and change per meter which is stonking value absolutely brilliant value um, and I just want to check as well the width on this just so that I'm telling you correctly I'll grab my tape measure 44 inches wide, 44 inches wide, fab. That's your gingham. You can get the large, you can get the small, you can also get the mega bundle, remember, you're making a saving of half a metre on each of those options. Now then, next up, shall we do Lewis and Irene? Let's do Lewis and Irene. Now then, we've got a mega bundle, and then we've got two separate bundles as well. And we've also got by the half meter. So let me show you the mega bundle of Lewis and Irene first of all. Okay, this is lovely. It's called Spring Hair. That's delicious, isn't it? Love that. Really fresh. Oh, that's a gorgeous print. Now I'm already thinking lovely bag making for spring, but quilt making as well. Absolutely delightful. So you've got those five fabrics and then you've also got these as well. Love that soft gray. That's beautiful. What a stunning collection, 74.90. For 10 half meters, you're getting half a meter free, 67.41. Now this is gonna be very popular, so if you love this, grab it. We're already quite limited on stock. We're limited. We are limited on this bundle. We don't have enough to go around. You get 10 half meters. Um, it's got a lovely fresh spring vibe. I love the soft muted palette as well. It would be beautiful to make just a lovely, gentle, soft quilt. I team this with an ivory probably. Would we'll just keep it lovely and warm, lovely and soft. I need to let you know we've got four of these bundles left, just four. We started off, we didn't have big stocks, but we had a lot more than four. We're down to four now. So if you want this bundle, you will need to be really, really quick. Okay, now then let's look at the smaller bundle. Should we do this one first? Okay, so five half meters. 
We'll have a look in a little bit more detail now at these fabrics. Uh, you've got your boxing hairs. You're saving three pounds. Morning, Stuart. Oh, lovely, Stuart. Thank you. And team, I feel so much better now that the blossoms are on the trees and these gorgeous fabrics are on offer. Love spring. That's from Beverly in Norfolk. Oh, I agree with you. You know, this morning when I when I came in and, and early, you know, like quarter to six, um, but it was quite light. And the best thing was when I parked my car up and opened the door, bird song and it was just beautiful it's starting to feel more spring like isn't it now that awful snow is gone oh oh the snow the snow could you believe it um that's just lovely absolutely beautiful and again you could pick out any of those colors this soft jade green is lovely the lemon yellow this gorgeous soft sort of uh it's somewhere between a peach and a salmon isn't it absolutely lovely absolutely lovely um now got a special message i want to send out to alicia sending you lots of love and a big hug as well um thinking about you this morning oh take care my lovely take care uh now uh <laughs> Steph says, Stuart, you're a stroking good quilter and presenter. I adore gingham, typically Americana that harks back to the good old days of warm apple pie and a nice hug. Oh, I'd, I'd do a warm apple pie and a nice hug now, Steph. Absolutely. I love that Americana style too as well. It's just delightful, isn't it? Really nice. Um, talking of really lovely, this new range from Lewis Nyrene, it's called Spring Hair Reloved. Spring hair reloved. Oh, ah, okay. So previous collection that's been reloved. <laughs> yeah. A re <laughs> rehomed rabbit. Gosh. Oh, oh. I used to work with a lady who had a house rabbit, um, which was beautiful. Uh, now then, let me pop that away. <laughs> there we go. All right. Um, here's the other small bundle. <laughs> here's the other small bundle. All right. So here we go. <laughs> Stop it. Teasing me. Uh, this is very pretty. Very pretty. I love this. Oh, it's a stonking good quilt and not stroking. <laughs> Sorry, Steph. I can't read. <laughs> but I do stroke the fabric a lot, don't I? <laughs> oh, that's a pretty colour combination, isn't it? Very sweet. Very sweet, very gentle. Lovely. Now, these are all available by the half metre as well. Should we go through them? Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Right, I'm going to get them all out now so we can have a quick look. I'm going to stroke the fabric. I am a good stroker. <laughs> there we go. I think, listen, I think it's important to stroke fabric because that's how you tell the quality. It's what you do in a shop. My goodness me, yeah. Been kicked out many a shop for stroking the fabric. Right, let's have, I don't they look lovely together? But anyway, if you want them individually, let's do that. So let's start with ending one six. That's this, they almost look like lemons, don't they? Very smart. Now that would be lovely cut down for, you know, something like sashings or a border would look lovely. It's a bit of a stripe element, isn't it? By the half meter, 7.49. Summer clutch bag or a hobo, very nice. Be nice for a little top as well, actually, for spring. Very pretty, like that. Now, uh, let's do the next one, ending 3.6. This has got little swifts, I think. Are they swifts or swallows? Swallows, perhaps. 
I'm going to say swallow. And little sprigs, or maybe a little dove, I don't know. Diana says, morning Stuart, so glad I tuned in this morning. I needed more Easter fabric to make an Easter stocking for my new granddaughter to match her brothers. Well, congratulations on the new granddaughter, Diana. That's wonderful. And also I love the idea of an Easter stocking. What a great tradition. I like that a lot. And something you can bring out every year. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right, next up ending, one, four. So this is that lovely, soft, peachy background with little, I'm going to say dancing hairs. Oh, Catherine says, got ahead, ordered the cave bag kit. This is Emma Bradford's uh, tote, wonderful in a cave version. So much for no more unnecessary spending till April. That went well, think it lasted 12 hours. Although fabric surely is necessary. Catherine, of course, of course. And bags are good, aren't they? You always use a bag. Um, it's a lovely bag as well because it's really roomy and it's lined but there isn't any like interfacing or padding inside unless you want to you can pad it so it will fold up and you can tuck it in your pocket or you know keep it keep it in the car or something like that and it's useful to have next one ending eight six just a beautiful little ditzy floral very nice indeed that Nice as a fabric in its own right, but also really nice as an, an alternative sort of background fabric rather than just using a plain white. Ooh. Yeah, you could make little, that would be nice actually, you could make a little um, a house quilt and do all the houses out of different soft fabrics. That would be very cute. I like that. Nine, a nine, eight. Ending nine eight. So this is the largest scale print and very, very popular. Our most popular fabric on pre-order. Lots of lovely opportunities there actually for fussy cutting. Diamonds or squares. This would be really nice to do a, like a one block wonder quilt out of. Stack and whack. As I say, fussy cutting, really good, that one. Fewer than 10 metres of that one left now. So if you want that one, um, make your choice and uh, check out your basket. Ending 6-4 now. <clears throat> this is pretty, pretty summer dress, isn't it? Pretty summer dress. Or a little blouse or something like that. Oh, it is actually, that's already gone through. Ooh, yes. Ah, so it's in the, yes, it's, it's in two bundles. Gotcha, gotcha. Understood. Right, next one then, ending one five. Such a lovely colour. Such a beautiful shade of green, that. Mm, I think it's like a really soft teal. It's a soft teal. and pretty motif too. It's almost giving me sort of, you know, Dove of Peace vibes as well, which I think is rather lovely. Okay, um, possibly my favourite, ending one zero. Bold statement there, I know. But I just love silhouette fabrics. And this in the grey is just beautiful. Now then, next one ending one three. Soft grey background and then this beautiful, really soft mauve in the leaves. Very pretty colourways. Yeah, I love it. Grey blush. Stunning. And again, you could fussy cut that. And not just as little diamonds, but... Um, you know, even like a triangle, you know, just beautiful. Really sort of pick out the motifs. 
And then last one in that range, this is ending 5-9. So it's those little blossoms on a soft grey background. And again, I just think a, a sweet little blouse or a little dress in that would be so pretty. Or even a little shirt. Mm, it's a good stash fabric, that. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Okay. Chicks and eggs. Yes, yes, the Rose and Hubble bundle. Yes. So <clears throat> we had this bundle earlier on. It's from Rose and Hubble. Chicks and eggs. We've got three of these bundles left. It's brand new today. Now we've got the fabric by the half meter as well. Um, but do please check out your baskets if you've got it because so many of you have got this in your baskets. Beautiful. And if you went for the pastel solids, they go absolutely beautifully with these. Well done if you got those. These are beautiful, aren't they? Great value, 23.97 for two and a half meters of Rose and Hubble cotton fabric. Uh, two left now, literally two left. Right, we're gonna go to a break. When we come back, Emma Bradford's gonna be here with a brand new bag, so don't go anywhere. I'll see you Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day.
Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Hi, welcome back to Sewing Street. It's great to have your company on National Quilting Day. What well, global oh. quilting day. Ah. I always forget what day it is. That's always a surprise. Like, oh yeah. I know. Hello, hello. Every Here day we is are. Quilting day. Well, that's what I said. But yeah, I mean, if ever there was a day to celebrate it globally, why not this one? Exactly. Emma Bradford, welcome back. Thank How are you? you? Good, good, good. Good to see you. Again. It's good to see you as well. You've been yeah. busy. Oh yeah, always busy. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. We've got some lovely things from you today. Yeah, yes. Gorgeous bag. This is the show shopper. It's not a show stop. It is a show stopper. It is such a great size. Really stylish. Got a great shape to it. Love these pleats down the front. Love the fact that you don't need any extra hardware or metalware, which can be an absolute bind, can't it? Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to add any interface into this, although you can if you want to, but this one doesn't. So also it can be folded up, popped in your pocket. It's a take anywhere bag, isn't it, it Emma? It is, it is. And it's, I mean, I originally designed it just for me. I mm -hmm. mean, my original one I made probably about 15 years ago. Well, you mentioned earlier yeah. on, if your, if your bag, your original bag, my let's original just show bag. it, yes. was a person. He's a little bit sorry for himself, but he still holds up. Yes, yeah, so if my original bag was a person, they'd be taking their GCSEs. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. But, you know, he's got maybe one or two holes, but he's still, you know, he's still my go-to. Yep. I actually took him to London with my roller skates, mm -hmm. my elbow pads, my knee pads, my wrist pads, they all fit inside. Painkillers. Yes. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm at the age where you've got car ibuprofen, you've got nightstand ibuprofen, downstairs yes. ibuprofen. Yes. <laughs> Love it. 
I can only imagine what they're saying. I was Stop hearing it. them. They're, they're on a roll anything. today. <laughs> they're not saying anything. Oh dear. Anyway, downstairs I'd be. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> Anyway, oh. loving, loving, loving <coughs> this bag. How stylish is that? And it does also have, let me just show you, inside there is a little security pocket with zip tucked into the facing there. <coughs> Now, when everyone's checked out, a third of the stock of this bundle has already gone. Let me show you the bundles we've got available. Let's start with that one. So you get a metre and a half of your patterned fabric for the outside of the bag. Um, and I just love this. It's really smart. Um, I love that. I think it's very stylish. So there's your outer, there's your lining. You get a metre of that. So two and a half metres of fabric in total. That's nude, by the way. Ooh. Uh, I know. And then you also get the pattern. And again, I just think this is a bag that you'll make again and again and again. It's just terrific. Thank you. It's a great bag. It's a great shape. It's a great way of showing off a patterned or a plain fabric. Just lots and lots of possibilities there. Now then, the cave bundle has also been really, really popular. Um, I know that Catherine jumped ahead on the web and ordered hers earlier this morning, and lots of you have done this. Now this is delicious. <gasps> oh, wow. Is that doing it? Yes. That is lovely. There are single figures of this one left. Ooh. Look at the gorgeousness on that. Now you'll get a metre and a half of that. And this is, you think about the scale of this bag, it's really, really gonna show off the print, isn't it? A bag of this size. So there's your outer, here's your lining. Is this blush? Oh, perfect. Pretty, isn't yes. it? See, I like a light coloured lining because it, it makes it so you can find things easier. Kind of illuminates inside. the bag, yes. doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So a metre of that, so one and a half and one. So light pink, yeah, pretty though. And your pattern, of course, for 29.99, great value. What great value. We are triple oversubscribed on this one. Triple oversubscribed. Keep going through, people keep going through. Uh, Mm-hmm. Right, next up. No. No. This is the one we're demoing with. You want to see this one? Or this one? <coughs> okay. Right. Next option. So this gorgeous paisley. So named for the paisley shawls. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, lovely kind of rose pink background, little pin dot, and then this gorgeous motif. And then you can just see a little bit of sharp green in the background there, which then has been picked out for the lining. Love that combo. That is really nice. Again, a really nice bright lining, so you can find all your bits and bobs really easily. Mm -hmm. It is, it's great, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Just pretty. Love that, a bit shabby chic as Ooh, well. Yeah. I mm, love a bit of shabby chic. Uh, that's lovely. And again, you get your pattern as well for $29.99. Um, Valerie is having a good old laugh because she also has upstairs and downstairs oh. ibuprofen as well. <laughs> <laughs> love it. And then our last bundle is the one that Emma's going to be demoing with. This is gorgeous. Love that fabric. Who's that by? That's a Macawa. Oh, that's lovely. Mm -hmm. So you've got your floral. And then you've got misty blue for your lining. Love that, just picking out the color from the blossom. That's really nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And then you get your pattern. So a meter and a half, a meter, and your pattern, 29.99. Stonking value, it really is. All proving very, very popular. A message, I adore this bag style. It takes me back to the mid eighties and my school bag, I carried everything in it. It's so spacious. <laughs> I have a super day from Carolyn, who's in the West Mids. Yeah, I think I must be channeling her vibes as well because I had the same thing, shoulder bag, yeah, yeah. had everything in it. 
it, it is that sort of cavernous, take it anywhere, fill it with anything. I was thinking brilliant bag for the beach. You mentioned yes, taking I it to it London. For yes. Swim bag. If you just need something big and roomy that you can throw on your shoulder and everything's in there and it's all accessible. Yeah. It's a brilliant, brilliant bag. Great size and shape. And I love how stylish it is too, without the need for any metalware or findings. What a great opportunity as well to show off a big print. Now, if you'd like the pattern on its own, you might, you might have a stash of fabric at home and think, gosh, I'd love to make that bag many times. You can do it, 9.99 for the pattern. It's the Swift Quilting The Show Shopper bag. The cave's all gone, by the way, that's sold out now. But if you've got some cave at home, grab yourself the pattern. Laurie's messaged in on Facebook, Ooh. Emma, to say, hi, Emma, lovely to see you. I think I just managed to get the cave kit. Ooh, a well great done. bag for taking to Knit and Natter as your project bag. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, I use it for everything. And the other thing I, oh, sorry. Show shopper, mm -hmm. because I take it with me every year to the Festival of Quilts. Um, I, I've actually added the pocket for the instructions, but I don't like to take my big purse because I have a purse of all my cards and all my loyalty mm, cards mm. and blah, 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 blah. It's really heavy. Yeah. So I just take my debit card, maybe a credit card if I want to be really <laughs> Naughty. splash out. Yeah. Right, good, <laughs> yes. A little bit of cash, mm -hmm. put it in that little zip, good to go. Yeah, yeah. And it's very yes. light. It's very useful having that little zip security pocket because it is a big roomy bag, but you won't lose the important bits and pieces like your keys or, you know, a pass or something like that. Yep. You've got that little zip pocket. Ah, the show shopper, the space hopper. Do you remember oh, space yes. hoppers? Yeah. They were hard work. They were hard work. Julie remembers space hoppers. Hi, Emma and Stuart. Mm -hmm. I'm I old enough to have had an original space hopper, but oh. bought myself another one when they came back in vogue. Julie, you legend. Nice. I love that. I need pictures. In fact, I need a video. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> they were hard work, though. They were, especially if you were, <laughs> yeah. If you were smaller, it wasn't yeah. so bad because yeah. you sort of, you know, sat on it and you fit. But if you were a bigger kid and yeah. They and were. talking of space hoppers, what about a chopper bike? Do you remember those? My brother, had one. My brother also had a grifter. Remember the grifter? Grifter with the long saddle. They were so cool. Yeah. They were very American, weren't they? Yeah. They just seemed to be cool with a pair of flared jeans and a little T-shirt. I remember the days. That was me. <laughs> that was me. Anyway. Yes, anyway. Anyway. Um, the pattern on its own could very, very well sell out. Um, this isn't something we can easily replace, so I would grab yours. If you want to get the pattern, grab it now, and then sit back, relax, and enjoy. Nice. Catherine's got in touch to say, I've just calculated the cost of the fabric and the pattern. This is a bargain. It is a bargain, actually, isn't mm -hmm. it? It really is a bargain. Yeah. Two and a half meters of fabric for 19.99. Because you're adding the pattern on there. Yeah, yep, it is. Yep, it's brilliant yeah, value. Yeah, yeah. Well spotted. Emma, yep. make me a bag. Okay, I will. <laughs> <laughs> First thing that we do is put some strips. Okay. So I'm just going to show show doing that because when I first started, I know this is not quilting, but when I first started quilting and it said, you know, cut with a fabric, I'm like, how even? For so, sure, yeah. for sure. So I do like to show how to do that. And you, you do cut your strips, there's a few strips to cut out, only three I think, mm -hmm. uh, to start off with. So I've got my main pattern yardage and you only need to cut it out of your main body fabric, not the lining. Okay. So I'm just holding it up, I folded it in half so that my selvage edges are together. And I'm just going to hold it up and move those selvage edges against each other a little bit just to make sure that everything is hanging straight, there's no rucks or tucks or ripples in my fabric. And you will find that the cut edge, it won't necessarily all align, mm -hmm. which is why we're doing this. And if it doesn't, that's fine. We're going to cut a nice clean edge. The main thing is to have everything nice and straight. Mm. There we go. So I'm going to line, I've folded it up into quarters now. 
and I'm going to align the fold with one of the lines, the horizontal lines on mm -hmm. my mat. And I've got those raw edges just a quarter of an inch or so mm -hmm. over one of the vertical lines on okay. my mat as well. Yep. You don't want to put it too much over. You want to make sure that all your raw edges are over that line, but not too much because you don't want to waste anything. Right. And I'm going to use the lines on my mat to square up this edge first. So we've got a nice clean edge mm -hmm. to start off from. Got you. So you don't want much hanging over because you're going to use the line and you're going to trim that edge to square yep. it up. Yeah. But a funny angle, so bear with me. There we go. Oh, nice sharp. What well, is sharp? I just didn't press yeah. on it. That's cat taking care of us. No, she does every day. So we've got our edge straightened now. Yes, once it's straightened, I then use the lines on my ruler, so long as the pieces I want to cut are smaller than my ruler. Mm -hmm. Um, rather than the lines on my mat but it will be a bit of both mm -hmm. that's one thing I liked about well because I made it up the pattern myself it is very forgiving mm -hmm. so good we yeah, like that it is so I'm gonna cut one of the straps there we go and put that aside for now mm -hmm. now in reality you would cut two straps yep and another piece length of fabric for your top band as well, Got which you. I've already done yes. and got prepared. Now, once you've cut all your bits with the fabric, you then need to refold your fabric going along the length. Ah, okay. Yeah, so we're gonna cut the main body of our bag uh, running length of fabric. Got you. So to do that, I'm gonna refold it and I'm going to fold over the same selvage edge mm -hmm. so at home I need to make sure I cut my straps and my top band first, first. so read the instructions twice yes, yes. it I is always. in that order yeah but yes do do read your instructions it won't matter too much but this will ensure that you've got enough for everything basically. absolutely absolutely so I'm going to I love the fact that the that the bag is gathered into that top band it's very stylish and it gives lots of roominess without having this sort of big gaping Gapey hole flappy yep. open top isn't it yes you know it's very stylish I love it oh, thank you I do it's really it's a really cute bag really cute bag well, it was and you said to me earlier on, I'm not really a bag maker, I'm not. but I mean you really are <laughs> thank you well it's the first <laughs> bag I ever made actually seriously yeah <clears throat> so I kind of just made it to, you know, the features that I that I wanted. Right, exactly. You know? It's the whole point of making your own, isn't it? This is true. Mm. Oh, so the I'm bundle just... that I held up, by the way, this lovely brown, technically sold out. Um, you still got a chance if you take it from someone else's basket, because there are a few sitting in baskets, but basically everything that we have is accounted for. So check out your baskets and make sure you get yours. Now, we have a question Yes. Uh, about the pattern. Could this bag be made with Sewing Street tapestry fabric? So you know that oh. sort of heavier upholstery weight? Mm -hmm. Could you make it out of that? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, it'll just have a little bit more body. Yeah. Uh, maybe a little bit heavier. Yeah. But yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you can absolutely do that. And you might even as well, you could unlined you could have that unlined couldn't you oh yes yeah or do something really lightweight maybe a nylon mm. lining or something mm. like that mm. to keep it also lightweight yeah oh that would look gorgeous in tapestry nice? do it yeah. Oh, yeah, do yeah. it doesn't um, have to be cotton at no all. cool uh, robert velvet robert oh, yes just sh shout out a word velvet yeah velvet be really nice wouldn't it, it would. Robert's just got in touch from Staffordshire Ooh, to say I've just Robert. ordered the pattern for my partner but I'll be making it oh. for her Robert I love it I do love it mm. what are you gonna make it in which one right I'm just gonna cut this hand. roughly because I'm at a funny angle yep so I'm gonna cut it a little bit larger than I need and then we will I'll trim it down. We forget, don't we, at home, we're standing every side of the table, yeah. we're leaning over, <laughs> it's... 
I'm usually a floor cutter as well. Oh, do you? Yes. There we go. I'd get down, but I wouldn't be able to get back up again. Oh. That's <laughs> where I'm at. And then I think I'm going to use my scissors for this bit. But essentially, you want to cut it so it's folded over. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're cutting it. I'll show you. Got you. Well, you're doing what I do all the time in my studio, which is to... I, I never cut big pieces. From the, I always chop it down a bit with scissors mm -hmm. to make it easier to yeah, handle. To more, yeah, more manageable. Yeah. So I've just cut it a little bit bigger than I need. Mm. This is actually... I'm trying to see. I've, I've, I've cut everything I need for it. This is actually extra. Oh! So you get a nice little leftover. Amazing. Yeah. That's good. Mm-hmm. Oh, lovely. Mm -hmm. Well, that, I mean, that's incredible value when you think about it, isn't it? That you get, I mean, I thought it was incredible. It is incredible value that you're getting all your fabric to make this fully lined big bag and the pattern for twenty nine ninety nine. But actually, there's enough fabric left over to make a matching tote bag. Oh, yeah. Or a little purse. Or... A little purse yeah. would be gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so we've got now, folded fabric there. Yeah, so I've got folded fabric. So I've got my silver edge along here, so it's still along the length. Um, my folded over, I'm going to put it at the bottom, and then I'm going to cut it. And it, the instructions, there's a nice diagram in there to show you exactly how to do this. So don't panic. Okay. So I'm going to cut that at an inch over. So I need to make sure it's an inch longer here. So I'm going to cut it at... There we go. I should be right there. There we go. Now today we're using non-directional fabrics. Mm -hmm. So you can fold it, cut it on the fold and it doesn't matter. Right. You can also make the bag from a directional fabric if you want to and the instructions do include that. Mm -hmm. Um, the only thing is, you won't cut it exactly like this. You'll cut two pieces, mm -hmm. seam it, mm -hmm. and then treat it as a folded over. Understood. Yeah. Understood. So you've got the pattern going the right way on both, both sides. sides. Yeah. That's a really useful hack once you know that as well, because mm -hmm. there's quite a few bags where the front and the back are made as one, and that can throw you if you're using a directional fabric, if yes. you've not done it before. But you're right, you just put a seam in the yeah. bottom, don't you? Mm -hmm. There we go. And then I'm going to turn it over again this way mm -hmm. and fold it over so I can, again, this is just for, um, to fit on here. Yes. But if you can <clears> cut <throat> this edge without having to fold it, then do so, but mm -hmm. you can easily do it this way too. Just make sure everything's lined up. There we go. And within your pattern, if you're going for the pattern, you do have trimming templates. Uh, a trimming template, don't you? Yep. In the pattern. Yes. But I love the fact that essentially this is rotary cut. It is all rotary cut, Find yes. that much easier and quicker. Yes. I mean, I made that in an afternoon. Great. It's so quick. And mm -hmm. that was with the lining and the, the little zippered pocket and everything as well. So... Just Great for gifting this as well. It is, and it's a um, okay, yeah. It just, is an easy make. Because sometimes you get those fabrics, especially like like that cave, mm. where you it's just such a gorgeous fabric, and you bought it because mm -hmm. oh my god I love it. Mm -hmm. But then you get it home, and it's like how do I don't really want to cut right. into it, or I don't want to. This is perfect it is for perfect. that. perfect. So now I've got my template, which is also included in the pattern, and I'm going to mark and i've just got a pen a regular pen because that's mm -hmm. what we had but it doesn't matter because it's not going to be seen mm -hmm. um, this is actually the cut line so okay this is just to round out and i'm cutting it while it's folded mm -hmm. and I'll, I'll tell you a little hack as well mm -hmm. um, if you've got a big plate a big dinner plate which is a similar sort of oh I've got a big this. dinner plate Emma you can just put that on and right around yeah that. cool 
just to make it easy. I think this would also be a really good pattern for um, a youngster to make. I right. know Mother's Day is like pretty quick <laughs> tomorrow, yeah. but birthdays, maybe Christmas, mm -hmm. Mother's mm -hmm. Day next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, this would be a really easy one. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to turn that around. Template sure plastic. It's back in stock. Oh, we don't yes. have it on the show, but it is on the web. Template plastic, yes, useful. Very much. That would work perfectly for this. And there's the details actually, and this is the Mylar No Melt quilting template. Oh, nice. This is, oh, I love it. You yeah. can never get it though. You can never get it, but we've got it in stock right now. Grab it. Yeah, oh, it's brilliant stuff. Because you can use it for, you know, turn and press, applique, iron oh, yes. onto it, and it doesn't nice. melt. There, yeah, it's but really good. That's your cutting done. Oh now. my goodness, wow. Yeah, so you end Amazing. up with two little pieces. Obviously, I've cut that on the fold. Patchwork. So, yep. Save those. Mm -hmm. And then this will look basically like that. Okay, gotcha. Yep. Yeah, makes sense. Mm -hmm. Right now, we're just going to see that. And the seams are half an inch for this one. Okay. Only for durability. Yes. Uh, so you can, once you've done your first seam, you can go back and just do a little second row of stitching right mm -hmm. next to it to reinforce it if you want to. That's a good idea. And yes. if you were using the tapestry, would you French seam these sides or overlock the, if you weren't lining it? Uh, oh, if you're, over, probably overlock. Overlock them, yeah. Yeah, cool. because a French might be a bit too thick for mm -hmm. a tapestry. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, true enough. Love it. Um, now then, let me just give you a few stock updates. The pattern on its own for $9.99, it's the show shopper bag, space hopper bag, <laughs> that's next. Show stopper, <laughs> space hopper. The rally chopper, there's fewer than 30 left, Ooh. well done if you got yours. This is going to be a great bag for Festival of Quilts. It is. Get a lot of fat quarters in there. Yes, and that's what I because I have started off being so lightweight to yes. begin with, because yes. I'm getting to the age where I, that is a concern. <laughs> like, you don't want your bag to be heavy before you put anything exactly. in it, right? Yeah. So you've got lots of room for fabric and it won't be as heavy either. No, quite. Could you make this bag on an overlocker, Catherine asks? Ooh, I wouldn't, okay. only because is you, you, if you're going to put something heavy in it, that yeah. overlock seam on a on a um, woven fabric right. isn't going to hold. Right, is a, is the thing. No, I mean what you could do is do this do the seam yeah. on your normal sewing machine. Yeah, and then go over the seam allowance with your overlocker overlock to it. trim that up. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Use the overlock to neat and not construct. Yeah, on this occasion. Yes. Now, the bundle that I've got right here, this beautiful brown, well oversubscribed in baskets, but there are still five that are not checked out. So if you want this one, um, you can still grab it, even if it's not in, currently in your basket, but there are only five left. Now, the one that Emma is demonstrating with, those beautiful greens from Macawa, Um there are literally only 14 left. We had bigger stocks of this because we knew Emma was demoing with this one, but um, there are only 14 left. So again, if wow. you want that one, grab it while you can. <laughs> the Cave one's sold out. And then the Paisley. Beautiful, love that rose pink. It's I do. really, it's pretty, really nice. It? Sold out that one, sold out. Okay, well done if you got that. So two sold out and the other two very nearly sold out. Throw it off the counter. Right, where are you getting, where are you, where are you up to? So I'm to? just doing my side seams. Mm -hmm. So when you get to the bottom curve, when you get to the fold, mm -hmm. what, what do you do? Do you run the seam off the edge or? I just run it off the edge, so okay. I'll show you. So I'm just sort of following that half an inch seam allowance and it doesn't have to be perfect oh, okay gotcha. um, because as long as you've got that curve mm -hmm. um, it, like I said it's very forgiving yeah basically if you wanted to just go straight off you could so it could be first bag yeah oh okay. absolutely well, it was my first bag yeah of course yeah. it was yeah absolutely 
So once you've got the side seams done, the next thing we do are the pleats. And there's just a little bit of measuring for that. Mm -hmm. And I, um, I'm going to do the old fashioned Mm -hmm. Find the centre. Yeah. So I'm just folding it in half, pressing a seam in the middle, which is the easy way of finding the centre of sure. anything. There we go. And then let me just refresh. I always have to go in with a pin <laughs> because I can I fold and then I can never find, find my it. fold. So, and I'm, you can just do it with a pen, regular pen, mm -hmm. friction pen. It doesn't matter. Because mm -hmm. this is all going to be hidden. Yeah. So if I do this, so that is, yep. So you have to mark two lines basically. Mm -hmm. So I've got my measurements here. It does say in the, in the instructions. So I'm just going to draw, actual draw a line. And then the second one is four, there we go. These are inverted box pleats, am I right? Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting technical on me, Stuart. Let's throw that in there. <laughs> oh, well, they're so smart. Oh, thanks. Well, they it was, I, I don't like, like you said, I don't like a gaping top on the bag. Right. So I wanted it to be narrower. One, so people can't put their hands in, but also just to keep it neater for yeah. when I Other people, use it. obviously, you can put your hand in your bag. Yes, but. yes, other people. Well, only because I use, I use it a lot for traveling as well. Yes, and when yes. you're on the tube or you're in an airport or mm -hmm. whatnot, you want to make sure you can... Agreed, yeah. agreed. And there isn't a fastening on this bag, but you could easily put... Oh yeah, a snap in the top. That'd be or, nice, yeah. Or you could magnet. be fancy, yeah, or you could do a little... Um, That'd be nice. Strap over the top. Yeah, or? yeah. Like a loop and button, something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so I've got one, two, three, four lines. Mm -hmm. and those Plus are your middle mark. Middle mark, which I only use as a reference. Yeah. Where's my, um, I'll put them somewhere. I will pin for this. Mm -hmm. So the marked lines are actually my sew lines. So what I'm going to do is line those up and sew directly down Oh, okay, gotcha, right, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Just like that, and the same here. Oh, that's very smart, I like that. <laughs> yeah. So it's almost like, um, like a pleat you get on the top of trousers, oh, yes. mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. You get that sometimes. Yeah. You like that very tailored looking. Yeah. Oh, what a nice feature. I, you know, I'd just seen it as a, as a, an inverted box pleat, but it is seamed and I can see that now. Yeah. Oh, I like that even more. It's been so popular, oh, really yeah. popular. Rightly so too. Now for, for these, you can do it however you'd like, but this is how I've been doing these. Uh, only with um, sort of strength of construction in mind mm -hmm. because that, that bottom part of that pleat will have a little bit of stress on it. Yes. So what I do is I start from the top of the pleat, go all the way to that bottom of that line, mm -hmm. needle down, twist. Right. And then richly just sew back up what I've just sewn. So one, I don't have to do any backwards and forwards reinforcing at the bottom. Mm -hmm. It's basically done it for you. And all of the strings are then at the top of the bag. You can just trim off. It's a really good, about it. really good tip. It just reinforces that bottom bit as well. And most of us, myself included, I'm not great at reverse sewing and getting it exactly Straight. on top of the previous line. Much easier just to turn it. Mm -hmm. Cool. Then you can just trim all of those off. Do the same here. This time, oh, okay, we've got plenty of time. Now, can I just ask a question? Yeah. If you were going to add either interfacing, H630, H640, or quilt batting, mm -hmm. How, when would you add that? 
Um, so the interfacing I'll probably add to the point where I've cut my rectangle mm -hmm. of outer yeah, uh, and then apply it to that. So just put a big rectangle on and trim off the corners. Yes, yep. absolutely. Yep. Cool. Do that. And would you do the same if you were using something like a light fusible fleece, like an H630? Yes. Just apply it to the whole thing, easy yep. enough. And I actually, yep. personally, I wouldn't go any heavier than that. I certainly wouldn't use inner form or like a fusible foam for this, soft and stable, nothing like that. The most I would use would be H630 or 40, yeah. probably 30. Yeah, just to give it a little bit of body if you want to, because it is a quite a floppy bag, but that's how bit. it's designed for. But. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I like the softness of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really smart, lovely. Oh, thank you. It's a gorgeous design. Thank you. I really like it. <laughs> thank mm. you. So pleat sewn on one side, then you repeat the process on the, on other, the other side. side. Yes. There's my bit. Now I need to just let you know that this bundle <laughs> that Emma's working on, there's five left. Ooh. We had 14 a second ago, oh, wow. but there They're are 33 in baskets. <laughs> There's a little bit of a queue on the phone line. Apologies for that. They'll get to you as quickly as they can. If you can go online and, and um, check out, it's faster. But um, yeah, literally five of these left, six, more than six times that number in baskets. It's a gorgeous combo, a lovely floral from Makawa. I do love Makawa fabrics, mm -hmm. beautiful. Oh yes. Lovely yeah, nice. cotton lining from um, Rose and Hubble. And then you get your pattern, which again, you're gonna make again and again and again. Very nice. And I was thinking as well about if you remake this, you could make that top band in a different fabric. Yes, exactly. So I was thinking, this, and I've put the instructions in there as well. So mm -hmm. if you open this one up, which is my original wow. one, I ran out of time. I was going to make another one, but inside is the fabric that I was going to use to make a contrasting Ooh. top and bottom. So here's the, here's the bag. Gorgeous. Love that. So nice, isn't it? In you know, big bold print. That's delicious. Yeah, and again, that was one that I. And then I'm going to turn it through. I um couldn't. Oh, yeah, there's my Ooh, pocket. I'll just take everything out. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's the. Oh, <laughs> my hand. Very, oh, very nice. <laughs> I approve. <laughs> and then you can see here how you could do a contrast if you wanted. Let's just. Pull it out properly. There you go, look at that. Lovely. And I guess if you didn't put any kind of zip or pocket, I mean, you put a little hidden pocket there, but mm -hmm. if you didn't do that, you could make this reversible. Oh, yes. Couldn't you? Oh, absolutely. I Where it's fully about lined. That. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. You can make it reversible. Yeah. Very nice. If you're wondering about the hand cream. Nice. <laughs> that was a Christmas present. Gorgeous. But it is lovely. It I'm obsessed with hand that. cream at the moment. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm terrible, aren't I? Um, <laughs> but yeah, so that other fabric yeah. was what I was going to do the... Um, oh, the this main, fabric here. Yeah, and contrast mm. with. Yeah, that's nice. Nice bit of Tilda. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I'm obsessed with hand cream at the moment. My favourite go-to is O'Keeffe's. Mm. It doesn't have a smell, uh, but it is amazing. Comes in a bright green tub or, mm. or two. Oh, I know the kind of thing you yeah, mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so hard working. Mm. There we go. Okay, now we need to press Okay. We need to press our yes pressing mat. Our bits. Now to do the lining is exactly the same as this, only with the lining. Mm -hmm. So the process mm -hmm. is exactly the same. Yep. With the pleats and everything. So you open out the piece, or you press it one side. I am pressing it open. So okay. I've done the same thing. So I've pressed a little crease in the middle here. 
so that when I open it up, I know to match Can that. I just move you crease. over a little oh, bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pop you in the middle. Oh, there. yeah, perfect. That's, That's much easier. Thank you. Well, that's what I love about these wool pressing mats. They're very portable. They are. I love wool pressing mats. Good here, but really good at home too. Mm -hmm. Ah, so you just centre center that it. fold. Yeah. Got you. And then just press it. And give that a little press. You don't have to go too far, just as so long as the top is mm -hmm. pressed. Because I'm going to baste over that. Got you. Once I've done them all to keep it in place yes yes the pattern on its own by the way is single figures Ooh. and again there are 46 in baskets 46 in baskets for single figures of actual real stock one thing I did love about this I mean obviously I made it for myself not having interfacing not mm -hmm. having any hardware mm -hmm. The zip is optional if you have one For handy, sure. but say you've got, you know, you just realised, oh, I'm going to go see somebody tomorrow, yeah. or I've got a birthday coming yeah. up, and I haven't gotten anything for them, but they would love a bag, and I've got a metre and a half of fabric yes. in my cupboard. Totally that agree. It's gorgeous. I can whip it up in the afternoon. Totally agree with you there. Yeah, sometimes you just got a bag making itch that needs scratching yes. and you don't have any findings, no metal wear, and you just, but we've always got a bit of fabric, haven't we? Yeah. Mm. Or you could go really fancy dancy and say you do have a gift for them, but you have no wrapping paper. Oh, make a bag. Make a bag. Love it. And then Love it's it. two in one. Well, I'm useless at gift wrapping, so that appeals to me on many mm -hmm. levels. I literally can't wrap a square box. I'm, I'm terrible. I'm very much at Christmas or I'm very much, it's more important what's in the thing yeah, than yeah, what yeah. is on the outside. Some people so. do great gift wrapping. Charlie's good at gift yeah. wrapping. But I'm just a, like a scrunch and a ribbon. Just like literally scrunch it up and tie a ribbon around it. I love cellophane, <laughs> tin foil. <laughs> <laughs> Has been known. <laughs> You know when you see people have done it in like brown paper with twine and like oh, wax, the... you know, seals and things like that, and it's all amazing and like a mm -hmm. little sprig of dried fur. I just can't do it. Well, I could do the decoration, but it's just the getting the square corners and everything. Oh, neat. yes. I just haven't got that kind of brain. Sorry. I don't. I don't have a good brain. So I'm just going to baste these to keep them in place. Susan from Greater Manchester says, oh, could a credit card pocket be hidden in the top band for added security as well um, as the other pockets? You could, um, if you know, if, yeah. You, yeah. you have to be more, yeah. Yeah. More adept than me. <laughs> yeah. I think I possibly could figure that out if I um well, that's the joy the of this skills. bag. You, you've left the inside mm -hmm. kind of a blank canvas. You could put a slip pocket inside. You could put a, what I always call a letterbox zip. You'd oh, put that yes. on this one, hadn't you? Mm -hmm. Like here, look, inside the lining. Oh, no, actually, it is a, it is a floating pocket again. Yeah. But you know those letterbox zips, which are actually sort of in the lining themselves if you stick around for the next hour we've got bag making essentials oh, and i'll perfect. and I'll, I'll but that inside the lining you could do i mean this is a loose pocket but you could put that in if you wanted you could put slip pockets inside you could put a little um key fob inside oh, yes. you know those with the little like dog lead clips yep 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 put those keep inside. your key safe yeah you know, but, but you've left it a blank canvas for us which i love Oh, this way. So now I've done that. At this point, you would, if you're use, putting a lining in, do the same to the lining, and mm -hmm. then put obviously your lining What's wrong lovely? sides right. together mm. yep. inside. And then once the lining is in, I then baste all the way around the top just to keep the top and. Got you. So you put your lining and your outer together at this point. Yes. Drop, drop yes. it in. Drop yep. the lining in. Yeah. Once the lining is in, then I would uh, place my pocket. Um, and based over the top of that to mm -hmm. keep everything together and then you put your top band on now I've already prepared it so I've got my strip I've sewn it together and I have pressed under um, the raw edge now what I do and you don't have to do this bit but the seam 
on the band, mm -hmm. I will match it with one of the seams on the side just Good. to kind of yeah. hide it. And it's a case of sewing those all together. Mm -hmm. And again, you've used a half inch seam throughout. Yes. Yes. Again, just for a little bit more um, strength. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Might speed this bit up a bit. Fab. There's very little for me to round up at the end, by the way, because basically everything's sold out. Oh, yeah. There's like ones. We've got one of these not checked out. Over 30 in baskets, but if you're quick, you could grab that. Um, the green, there's one, again, not checked out. 35 of them in baskets. 37, in fact. Hmm. The paste is definitely sold out. The cave's definitely sold out. Mm. The pattern's sold out too. Congratulations, Emma. Oh, thank you. Now, I did just want to mention the Mylar template plastic. It's back in stock. It's already flying out. It's one A3 sheet. Um, they're absolutely brilliant. It's got a slight opaqueness. It's a little bit like frosted glass, isn't it, Mylar? Oh, so you yes. can see through it, but it's not completely clear. So you don't lose your templates. I lost a template yesterday in my oh, studio. Oh, no. It was there in plain sight because it was see-through. Yes. I lost it. Yeah. And then I made another one and then I found, <laughs> found it. it. Yeah. That is, yeah. Arr. That is But typical. anyway, Mylar is no melt quilting template. So if you try and use normal template plastic with your iron it'll melt it'll distort but this one you can actually iron so for example if you want to make yourself a hemming template with different widths of hem oh, marked on here so you can just turn your fabric idea. up to different lines and press oh, they're so useful nice. and you can buy them but you can make your own yeah for half the cost with mylar yes. but it's also great for turn and press applique there's loads you can do with it it's really good stuff 5.99 a sheet uh, grab it while you can because this is the first time in about a year that i've Ooh. seen this available <coughs> got booked in yesterday it's why we haven't got any on uh, on the actual show but um, those are the details grab it now how are you getting on so i've sewn my <coughs> pardon me sewn my top band into my outer mm -hmm. so then once you've done that it's a case of folding it over it's probably easy if we turn it inside out to be mm -hmm. honest with you because we need to fold it over and press it again so give this a good press I haven't, yeah i've got a little bit of time press your seam so it's facing up mm -hmm. and then press this so that it's just your fold is just below that sew line that got you just you. made Got and you. then press your so top that covers band. all your raw edges. Covers all your raw edges. <coughs> so actually, if <coughs> you were doing this with something like a tapestry fabric, where you weren't going to line it, mm -hmm. as long as you overlock those side seams, that top band is all fully so, neatened. Yes. Oh, adorable! Yeah, great. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all done. And then once that's down, do you have to hand stitch that in place? Or? I machine stitched everything. Great. So what I did once that was all pressed over. Yeah. I then do a round, if you have a look at that one, mm -hmm. um, several rounds of stitching all the way around Got the top. You, yeah. That is to add a little bit of body and strength so it stands up. So so here you've top stitched through to attach the yep. band yep. and then you've added more lines, almost like quilting lines throughout, yep. which is a really nice touch. And also gives a little bit more structure and stability to that fabric, mm -hmm. doesn't Without it? having to use any interfacing. Yeah. But if you've got interfacing and you, you could put would, that in. Yeah, you don't want to do that, then mm. that's fine. Nice. I like it. And then as a last touch, yep. the straps mm -hmm. are done in the same vein. So this is one that I've already done. So if you want to have a look at that. Yeah, thank you. So you started off with a really wide strip of fabric, yes, didn't you? Yes, so it's the same width as this. So if I put that aside. I'm just going to trim this down to the right length. I'm just going to 
switching off the salvage. this just a case of pressing the ends over about a quarter of an inch mm -hmm. there we go. and then we sew it down the side to make a tube turn it out okay yep give it another good press make mm -hmm. sure that seam is really turned out mm -hmm. and then you sew over the top just like you did for the oh, okay nice the, and easy yep and then to attach them mm -hmm. you can do it either i've put mine all on the outside of the bag yes. but if you want to put them just put them on the inside of the band it's the mm -hmm. same thing it's just a rectangle mm. Uh, so, so you've just positioned that on top and then top stitched a box. Yep. Perfect. So on the outside or on the inside. Whichever you, is your preference. Yeah. You could even put a couple of covered <gasps> buttons or something, could. couldn't you, if you want to jazz it up. Yeah. So I, I try to do this with all my patterns. I've basically given you like the serving suggestion mm. and the, the main, you know, basic way of doing it. And then it, you can fancy it up you as can. much as you want a it's sort of more or less approach yeah i love that I and love also that. for the pocket on the inside i thought afterwards it's i've got the right nice size for putting credit cards or debit cards and mm. cash in it but if you wanted to make it a little bit bigger to hold a passport yes perfect yes. travel because you, uh, we have no hand luggage allowance anymore no you know so yeah what's that all about money yeah but we can get around it yeah of course we can of course we can yeah, a bag if, within a bag exactly yeah love that fabulous um so that's oh, it that is it that is yeah fab well Obviously, everything's sold out emma oh so i mean you okay. know tell me about you tell me about those gorgeous metallic nails oh thank those. You. <laughs> i've been admiring them for the last hour they're lush oh thank you <laughs> thank you you know or maybe what, sometimes you find um a varnish that goes on and dries really nicely yeah. and quickly and looks great this yeah. is one of those this, this is my go-to yeah yeah paint and wear love it mm -hmm. pop them down again bruce needs to see them oh there they are there they are they are gorgeous thank you they're easy which is, i'm all about yeah, easy. yeah easy sewing easy nails yeah the lot yeah was it gino <laughs> says um Minimum effort, maximum enjoyment. I love that. That is one I of my love mottos. that. And Lorraine's got in touch to say hi, Emma. Oh, hi, Loving Lorraine. the hair. Oh, thank you. Loving the hair. Eileen, thank you for your message of solidarity. Uh, I always knew I'd found my tribe. She says, I can't wrap a box to save my life. <laughs> um, great demo. Thank you both. Oh, I have invested in a kit. Oh, Emma, yay. thanks for a lovely hour. Oh, you're and welcome. congratulations on the sellout. Oh, yay. You're coming <laughs> back you, in everybody. an hour's time. I am for this quilt. Gorgeous. This yep. quilt, this many quilt. Yes. Many quilt. Look forward to that. Have a great hour. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Okay. Thanks, Emma. Right, um, next hour we have got bag making tools, um, including Amanda Little's Arts and Crafts bag. Now, this launched last Saturday and sold out almost immediately, um, but we've managed to get the blue and the green back in stock. And we've also got the bundle of all three. So if you missed out, gorgeous, this great design. Um, it is coming up in the next hour. We've managed to restock it. What a brilliant project back that is. Um, we've also got oodles of bag making essentials, so stick around uh, and don't forget that Mylar no melt template plastic. We'll see you after this. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times or four times. So that means you pay once, 
Then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Follow Sewing String on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. of Sewing Street, why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. 
head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. And we're back at last. Sorry that was such a long break, but we had a bit of a technical issue earlier on and we had our lovely Ben in fixing the problem. We're all fixed now, apparently. Uh, fingers and toes. Now then, here's the great back in stock. Last Saturday, uh, Amanda Little launched her brand new arts and crafts drawstring tote bag and it's sold out so so quickly we've managed to get some of it back in stock now this is it's so gorgeous this is the blue now you can see it's a multi-panel bag isn't that delish i'd constantly be showing people the bottom of the bag yours will turn out just like that you don't have to fussy cut i'll show you why in a second so you've got your lovely bag but then look it's got a drawstring top to it so i'll just pull that open and then fully lined again with william morris all inside in fact i'm just going to pull this lining out for a second just so you can see it's a beautiful design um you get everything instructions lining drawstrings straps all you need to add is something like some fusible fleece h640 h630 you can watch the demo 11th of march to see a full demo now here's why you don't need to do any fussy cutting because and you don't even have to do any measuring or maths because everything to make your arts and crafts is printed on a panel 
So here it is. It's like a duvet cover. It's absolutely enormous. You've got absolutely everything. It's all lined in the beautiful William Morris fabric as well as being on the outside. Your drawstrings are there too. Literally cut it out, fuse it to your fleece or your wadding, sew it together. You're going to have great fun. Um, this is the blue option. It's $33.99 and it does also come, let me just show you, with full instructions. Okay, so these are from Amanda Little, Little Quilt House and you get all of your instructions inside so all of how to do the cutting out how to apply your fleece how to make up the bag the straps the band around the top the drawstrings the whole lot you get full instructions loads of pictures in there as well to guide you through if you're a beginner bag maker don't worry, it's going to be a nice, easy project to make and a beautiful result. Your bag will look just like this one right here. Remember, you do not have to fussy cut to get those great effects. You're just cutting out the panel and sewing it together. The blue version is on screen now. It was a very fast sellout last week when it launched. Um, and already we've got fewer than 20 of those left. That has been incredibly popular. Well done if you got yours. Now, um, the blue, there is a mega bundle. So even if we sell out individually, we might have some of the bundles left. But let me show you what else we've got first. So the green, this is the only other one that's available on its own. Oh, I like this. I love that pop of orange red there in the tulips. Look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. That is absolutely lovely. Poppies and tulips, I think. And look at that lovely lining. Absolutely amazing. Beautiful quality cotton as well. That is stunning, isn't it? And again, the fussy cutting has been done for you because each of these panels is identical. So when you sew them together, it's all going to fit together and create that lovely pattern on the bottom of your bag. Remember, you don't get instructions printed on the panel itself. They actually come as a booklet, which is included in the price. So you don't have to get anything else. $33.99 gets you your outer fabrics, your lining fabrics, which are very special as well. You've also got your drawstring and your straps. The only thing to add to this is some H640. You could use quilt batting as well if you prefer and some thread. So that's the green version. Now, we also have a mega bundle. There was one third version. We don't have this one on its own, but I'm just going to show you. This is the red, um, and it's in the mega bundle, which is $83.99. So here's the fabric that you've got for your outer bag. Mmm, that is yummy. Um, deep red background and then these beautiful blossoms in like a sort of creamy white. I love the lining. It's almost like coral, isn't it? I think it is coral. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. So you get one of the red panels, one of the green and one of the blue and then one set of instructions for making up the bags for $83.99, which is a great buy and the only way that you can get that red version. You're getting all three for $83.99. Be beautiful for things like, you could use it as like a vanity bag. You could put things like if you use straighteners or hair dryer, curling iron, something like that, they could all go in there. If you do things like knit or crochet, then of course you can put your project inside, draw the drawstring up, and then everything stays kind of protected from light and dust in there. Um, also a really great bag actually to take along to things like workshops and classes, because again, it's got a nice wide flat base. It's really nice and stable. So you could put all your supplies inside there for your class and then just kind of dip in and have that down on the floor.
Oh, now then, what about a picnic bag? I like that. I thought you were going to say Christmas. <laughs> Hannah just said to me now I'm going to go a bit rogue I know it's a bit early in the year and I thought if you say Christmas I'm going to scream but she didn't she said what about a picnic and suddenly I was there because it involves food <laughs> but yeah absolutely because you think you could get your dinner plates in the bottom because hey come on even though we're picnicking let's be civilized here huh we're not animals we could put our bone china in the bottom bone china napkins laid between bamboo plates things like that very good pop them in the bottom food on top <laughs> drawstring oh a sponge cake You could, actually, you could actually. If you were taking for a party and you were taking a cake or a big pudding or something like that, you probably could get away with having the plate in the bottom. And then, yes, okay, yes. Little cake carrier maybe. I'm loving all these different ideas for how to use it. Um, it's a restock. It, it just launched last Saturday with Amanda Little and uh, it sold out so fast. But we've managed to get the blue and the green back in stock individually. If you want all three, the blue, the green and the red, then go for the mega bundle. It's the only way you'll get that large um, red drawstring bag now. You get the red, the green and the blue all included in one bundle plus one set of instructions. Sue's asked a question on Facebook. She says, hi Stuart, can you explain what the interlining fusible knit is used for? I've never heard of this. Um, knit interfacing or interlining is used for interfacing knit fabrics, so for dressmaking. So for example, if you're using, thank you Kat, if you're using something like um, a jersey, or a stretch, you know, t-shirt fabric and you need to interface, maybe around a collar, maybe an open neckline, something like that, then you would use a stretch knitted interfacing and then it will stretch with the garment. Um, really useful. <laughs> Hope that helps, Sue. Now, the blue panel, I need to let you know, looks very, very close to selling out. There are 10 bags left 20 in baskets so when that happens we know it's going to sell out it is a case of fastest finger will win check out your baskets on that check your baskets out now then i'm going to pop that to one side i want to just quickly mention our early bird again just because we, we were talking picnics and we were talking about, you know, loveliness. Um, and I think about wine. I think about this beautiful Tuscan scene. Perhaps a glass of schleur? Or, oh, um, Steph mentioned earlier on a blood orange like crush. That sounded yummy. Something that's sweet but also a little bit bitter. I love. This is gorgeous. It should be $9.99. Okay. You've got this wonderful panel featuring a Tuscan farmhouse, great vines and grapes around it. Here's the vineyard. Here's the bottles of wine. And here poured into a glass now what about turning this into a wall hanging just as is maybe add a border what about using the center for the center of a quilt and adding piecing or applique around the outside edges a runner what about a bottle bag using the bottom you could make that up i would add some fabric to the top there perhaps a solid that would work just think it's great it's great fun it's something a little bit different um, you could also I showed earlier on how you could make this into an apron so think about um, summer barbecues a little party so fold down the top corners I mean obviously you need to hem the edges really before you do this so turn a little hem and stitch it okay and then fold the top corners down and then, I mean, you, you ideally, you want to just kind of fold those under out the way and you can stitch those down. So that creates your apron shape, okay? 
like so, right? And then just add head strap, side straps. You could put a pocket if you want to, but I probably wouldn't. Um, I think it would be fun. It would be fun. And it fits, you know, an average sized adult. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> For 3 99 You really can't go wrong, can you? What? Oh, now then, what about using that? You could you, turn it in, that into a cushion. Yeah? You could add top and bottom. Um, you could add sort of funny little phrases. A wine a day helps me work, rest and play. <laughs> yes, mum, daddy's, daddy's special juice. <laughs> Aww. My, my, my sister-in-law, Lisa, nev never drank when she was younger. And at, at family gatherings, she, she always had a glass, uh, like a wine glass with like fizzy drink in it. And it always used to be called Lisa's Special Wine. So we still call it Lisa's Special Wine now, whatever context we're having it in. Special wine, there we go. That's our early bird today. All right, let's move on. Now I've got one more Amanda Little. Oh yes, yes, the makeup bag, the makeup bag. This is from Little Quilt House. So this is the Easy Reach makeup bag, demonstrated on the 30th of April last year, last year. So what's cool about this is it has a, a zip and then it opens right out. I'm hoping, though no, there isn't a picture of it opened out. <laughs> oh, there it is. There you can see. So it opens out almost like to a tray. That's cute. That's clever. Like that. So you can get everything, reach everything. It's the Easy Reach Makeup Bag. $9.99 for the pattern. Full instructions throughout. So you can just use whatever fabric you like for this. Bit of fusible fleece or wadding and a zip. That's very clever. Nice little pattern that for nine ninety-nine. Now, something I've mentioned a lot this morning, H640. You could use this to add extra padding to Emma Bradford's show shopper bag. You could use this in Amanda Little's um drawstring tote bags as well. Um, it's great for general bag making and also I like to use H640 for small wall hangings. I mean, obviously you're restricted by the width. It's 90 centimetres wide. You get a metre piece here, but you'd get a decent sized wall hanging out of that. And of course you can, you can join um, pieces together as well. Um, but the reason why I like it for wall hangings and it's great for bags as well, is because it's a polyester fleece and it has a really nice structure. So for a wall hanging, it will hang flatter and squarer with um, this in it rather than your regular quilt batting. It's 9.99 for a piece, fleecy on one side, non-fusible, and then one of the sides has the glue on it and it's um, like a little dots, little tiny white dots of glue. If you feel it, it feels kind of rough and you can see the dots as well. So generally speaking, we're gonna put our outer fabric pieces onto the fusible side and then fuse them together using a dry iron. Um, now always check um, the uh, suitability of your fabric. I mean, it, the, the heat setting for the fleece is a two spot iron. Okay, and about 15 seconds. It also recommends using a damp cloth as well over the top. However, if you were fusing this to something like, you know, a polyester or like, a, you know, a faux silk or something like that, you'd want to use a one spot iron and that's fine. Match your heat setting with your fabric, but don't go above a two spot. Okay, and just bear in mind, it might take a little longer to fuse if you're using a one spot, but take your time, be patient, um, and it works beautifully. Great for bag making this. That's H640, so, so popular. All right, now, here I've got some 
This is a sew-in heavyweight interlining. 449, you get one meter length, 30 centimeters wide. So this is the size piece that you get for 449. Now then, this is a very firm sew-in interfacing. So it feels almost like flexible card if that makes sense so it has a very firm almost card papery feel to it um, it's a non-woven and non-fusible so you sew this in now particularly useful where you want really good firm structure without padding or weight so things like purses wallets things like boxes um, or baskets is also really useful for. Uh, you can also use this for things like, maybe if you want like a bag flap or pocket flaps on a bag, uh, where the bag might be padded, but the flaps aren't. But you want them to be very structured, very tailored, very neat. Um, this is absolutely ideal. Now, when you're using this, you can use something like, um, 505 basting spray to hold the layers together. You can use a glue stick around the edge to hold it to the fabric while you're constructing. Or you can just pin or clip it to your fabric and then use a long basting stitch on your sewing machine and just sew near to the edge to attach the pieces to your fabric. And then when you sew it up, just make sure that those edges are caught into the seam. Or you can quilt through it as well. It won't add loft, but you can quilt through to hold all the layers together as well. So that is our heavyweight sewing into lining, 449 for that piece. Now, we talk bag making and you can't really mention bag making without mentioning Lisa Lam, who is the queen of bag making. Now, this is the cute Cambridge satchel. We've got one colorway available. It's the lilac. It's the lilac. So this is, now lots of you are posting pictures now on the fans page of your finished cute Cambridge bag. They are adorable. This is the cute Cambridge. It's a mini satchel, um, just adorable from uh, So Lisa Lamb. Now, 26th of February, yeah, 26th of February, you can watch a full demo. You get amazing instructions for how to create this. It's all hand sewn using saddle stitch, which creates a very authentic look. All of your PU is punched with holes. So you're not having to push your needle through the PU. Um, this is a full kit. So you're getting absolutely everything here. All of your pieces, everything's pre-cut. I'm just going to have to get this loveliness out. It's a brilliant um, value, actually. Brilliant value kit, because you get everything for $39.99. Now look at this inside. So you've got all of your pieces all pre-cut. It's absolutely adorable. It's so cute. Look at that. There's your little... Oh, I love it. And there are your little, your little attachments there. There's your welt that's going to go around the bottom. There's your little strap for on top. How cute is that? You also get all of your metalware. You get everything. You get everything. Brilliant. Um, I have two of these and they will be the holiday project, a kit to go. That's Carolyn in the West Midlands. It's perfect, isn't it? Because it's all hand sewn and you even get your thread. You get your thread. You even get, look, you get thread snips as well. Lisa, that is extra. Ah, that's amazing. You even get thread snips. So you can literally take all this away with you. There's your shoulder strap. All done, ready to go. You go away with, with the pieces, you come back with a bag over your shoulder. That is absolutely stonking. Really good value, I love that. And it's a lovely colour too, that lovely soft dusky lilac. Pretty. Lisa Lamb's so clever. 
Now, talking of clever, I mentioned at the start of the hour Amanda Little's um, amazing arts and crafts drawstring tote. Now, the individual panels have now sold out. So the only way that you can get this is the big bundle. And there are only 14 left. Now, this is actually, this was always the only way that you could get the red version. But now it's the only way you can get any of them. So you get three printed panels. You get the red, the blue and the green. And remember, that's the outer and the lining. And each one's different. So the red one, you have these wonderful, um, it's almost like a tulip tree, isn't it? gorgeous very elegant like a magnolia yeah call that the tulip tree don't they like a magnolia and then um yeah and then you get the coral for the lining and you get everything there for the bag including your straps and your drawstrings so that's the red then you get the blue and this one features this is very medieval looking, isn't it? You get these wonderful, elegant William Morris designs. This is the outside. This is the lining. Nothing dull and, and basic about that lining, is there? Fabulous. So you get that, the blue. And then you get the green as well. So you're getting, this is kind of poppies, I think, and tulips maybe. You get the willow for your lining. Again, everything for the outer and the lining and your straps and drawstrings. And then you get one set of instructions for making up your bag. All photographed, all really detailed. Now, the bag itself features six panels that all come together. How cool is that? You don't have to do any fussy cutting or measuring. You just literally cut the panel pieces out and sew them together. So you get this fabulous hexagonal base to your bag and then the sides come up to create this lovely sort of wide bottomed bag and then a drawstring top now this for me is the perfect project bag knitting crochet but also a rather wonderful picnic bag that you can get all of your lovely plates and your food and drinks inside there pop it all in pull up your drawstrings and that's going to protect a project if you're sewing or cross stitch knitting crochet and then you can carry that around with you so each panel makes one of these bags fully lining everything the only thing you need to add is some h640 or some Thin quilt batting would do it as well, um, just to give it a little bit of padding and a little bit of soft structure as well. Um, literally, the only way you can get this now is to go for the big bundle. You get all three panels plus instructions for $83.99. Super design. Now, come with me. <laughs> Because I like a bit of bag making. I do, I do, I do. I love bag making. Um, this is Bags for Life. 21 bag projects for 12 99 Yes, you heard it right. Um, it shouldn't be that price. <laughs> Every time we do it at this price, I think, why, why, why? It should be £20. It should be £20, but it is £12.99. At £20, that would be less than a pound per bag pattern. Um, now, really, any of these individual... I mean, look at that. What's it, about 90p for a pattern to make a weekend bag? Is it worth it? I think it is. I think it is. Um, essential roll-up bathroom organiser. Now this, I've shown it here with toiletries in, and I deliberately made this, so it rolls up, it sort of ties through there, okay, let me just find the right picture, like that, okay, but then also that little ring, you can then hang on the back of a, a door or something like that. Um, three zip pockets, but you could just as easily use this for crochet hook and yarn, you could use it for EPP, you could use this for um, pencils, crayons, art materials, that kind of thing. You could do a lovely kids version of that. Um, very, very adaptable. Um, you've got lovely little 
zippy pouch, you know, with a flap, which could be basic and ordinary, but when you open out the bag, the flap actually covers the whole thing and opens out. You've got a lovely pocket there. You've also got a zipped vinyl pocket as well. So every single project is a little bit different or well, sometimes a lot different. You've got the weekender bag there. You've got bags for work. Now this is my um, essential multi-wear city work bag. So um, big zip at the back, which means when you're wearing it on your back, no one can get to the zip. Uh, because it actually look it's tucked around the back and when you unclip it here it just opens out into a big rectangle so nice and roomy you can also wear that as a crossbody or as a carry bag and um, good for if you cycle as well now the overnight attache nice and roomy lovely sleek profile there wonder where they got that gorgeous model look at that I say <laughs> You've got two pockets inside under the flap, which also... Now, this is what I was talking about with this stuff, yeah? This firm interfacing. The bag is padded, but you want these panels here, these flaps, to be very firm. So you'd use it inside there. Um, your little attache there. You've also got my, oh my goodness, can't live without, essential messenger bag. That is such a useful bag for anywhere everywhere and good for men and women as well then you've got a little project bag with vinyl so probably the simplest bag a sewing machine cover adaptable as well depending on the size of machine my very own drawstring bag for knitting and crochet lots of pockets uh, little um, cubes for storage. Now they actually go inside this large storage caddy which has pockets on the outside as well. Knit and crochet. Um, now this was a fun project to design and make. This is um, like a big circular quilt basically. Look, big circular quilt but has tabs all around the outside edge with a drawstring. Okay that you then draw up and then it's got rucksack straps on the back so you can wear it on your back. So basically you can kind of dump the Lego, the toys, the picnic into the quilt, drawstring it up, throw it on your back and away you go. Again, what a great model. I um, don't know where I've put that shirt but that's just reminded me what a nice shirt it is. I must try and find that. Little bob carrier. Yeah, you could adapt that, couldn't you? I've used it for a picnic, but I mean, you could do a kid's version. Um, picnic bag, P space for your plates. Remember, we're not animals. <laughs> space for your wine, space for your cutlery. And this uses a coat zip along the top so you can open it out fully um, and really get in and out of the bag easily. Uh, insulated lunch bags. There's less than 30 of these books left, by the way. It's been very, very popular. There's a lot of value, if I do say so myself. Now then, beach bag. What about the essential hobo? Um, Deputy Jones made so many of these. Um, this has got a fun addition. Do you see the shoulder strap? It's in two halves with a nice little kind of um, diagonal end to it. And then you just knot it. So if you want it shorter or longer or across your body, you can just untie it. It's such an easy way to adapt the length and it looks stylish as well. Um, now this one, a bit like an old style duffel bag, circular profile, waterproof pocket for your book, waterproof inside for your swim kit. Get that to the beach, why don't you? What about this one? It's my tote and towel. So it looks like a tote but it unzips to make a massive beach towel. You even get a pattern for a little patchwork pillow that goes in it as well. Great for kids, little roll up tote bag. Yeah, pop that in your pocket, take it shopping. These are the shopping bags. Little um, produce bags. No one uses plastic at the supermarket anymore, am I right? These are light as a feather for getting your tomatoes, your leeks, your apples. Other fruit and vegetables are available. Um, a wallet, a wallet. Again, this is where you would use something like this, very firm, sewing interfacing, especially on the outside of the wallet. Loads of little pockets there. 
for credit cards, store cards. Gail from Suffolk says, hi Stuart, made a weekend bag for my granddaughter's boyfriend. He loves it. Also made four of your messenger bags as prezzies. They all love them. That's from Gail, I'm glad. Well, they do make good gifts. And I remember once teaching a workshop with the messenger bag years ago. And one lady made a, the messenger bag in the class. And then she sent me a picture the following morning. She'd made five <laughs> of the bags all night. I think she was up to about three in the morning making them for all her daughters and daughters-in-law. Okay, shopping trolley bags. Now these shopping trolley bags are adaptable because full size you get you make four two large and two smaller they fill a standard shopping trolley but then the patterned bit tucks in there's a second set of handles and they now fill a small trolley so you can adapt them my father-in-law made a set of those um, and then, of course, you've got all of your how-tos, how to make different kinds of zips, pockets, uh, how to do shoulder straps, how to do a strap slider, the equipment you might need, the metalware you might need, and um, kind of a, a how-to. Couldn't resist. Couldn't resist doing that actually there was a pile of zips and I said oh I've got to arrange those into a rainbow and the photographer Rachel says well we need to get a picture of that so she photographed it and then I love how they used it there it's just yummy isn't it and it's such a brilliant team actually that worked on it um, Alice who was the project design manager Sophie who was the project manager Helen was the publisher Rachel Whiting amazing photographer um, and Quo Chen who does all the illustrations we've worked together for many many years Rachel too um, yeah just a fab I loved doing that book and most most projects in it actually a rotary cut so just measurements there are a few things that you need pattern pieces for like the hobo they are all in a pocket in the back so don't miss this because it's the same color as the back of the bag but there is actually a pocket with full-size pattern pieces I've had the odd email over over the years asking where the pattern pieces. they are there it's very discreet Anyway, twelve ninety nine for that. Um, we are in our teens now with these. Uh, the stock is flying out. Hi, Stuart. The weekend bag will make a great kit bag for my son's rugby kit. Just need to go through my stash to find the perfect fabric. That's from Clare and County Antrim. That is a really good idea. You know, that bag, actually, Claire, would be really good done in PU. You could make that bag in PU and that would give it a really nice kind of sporty feel as well. You could add a little trim on it, um, do a cotton lining or even you could use something like a shower curtain to make a, a sort of splash proof inside. So when the dirty rugby kit goes in, you can give it a good old wipe out. Uh, Collector in Merseyside says, I love this book, Stuart. The patterns are easy to follow and look great in all kinds of fabrics. Thank you so much. That's really kind of you. I am um, I tried to give each chapter a feel and a look, so I used different kind of fabric collections for each chapter. But yeah, hopefully as well, you know, uh, you can see lots of other ways. And I also used quilt weight cotton throughout the book. You could easily substitute things like cork, PU, tapestry fabrics, denim, you know, just go wild, go wild. Add some patchwork, add some piecing applique, machine embroidery. Um, I think we're gonna sell out again again now can we do some fabrics let's do some fabrics because I've just mentioned PU and we've got some really nice PUs on the show we've got four plain PUs let's start with gold let's start with gold this is gorgeous this is subtle gold this one ends three five yeah so this is, yeah, classy gold, I call this. It's got a bit of a sheen to it, but it's not super shiny. Um, Width-wise, this is uh, 56. 
56 inches wide so great value as well 6.99 a half meter now this would be gorgeous for making things like a messenger bag you could do the hobo in this you could do the weekender in this as well um, I'd get a meter if you're doing the weekender um, this would be brill for you could make little wallets out of this as well it's soft and flexible super easy to sew with use clips not pins because holes won't heal up um, you can iron it from the back. Um, easiest way to get creases out of this, by the way, is just to heat up your ironing board or press from the back and then just lay it down and smooth it out on a heated surface just to smooth out. Um, beautiful. Love that. So that's the gold. We've got black. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with black. It's not super shiny either. It's kind of almost a matte finish. Um, ending 898. Again, 50, I think it's 56 wide. I'll check again. Just be on the safe side. Yeah, 56 inches wide. So again, it's super value at 699 per half meter. It's got a um, kind of a flock on one side. So if you're gonna use this, say, for an unlined tote bag, or shoulder bag you absolutely could you absolutely could I would probably bind the seams inside if I wasn't gonna let align this rather than overlocking them I'd bind the the seams with bias tape so that's black then we have got a navy blue indigo we call this one it's almost almost a purplish blue it's gorgeous absolutely love that they all have this sort of gray flock um, backing by the way very easy to sew you don't need to use a leather needle when you sew with this you can use you know just an ordinary universal needles fine um, you don't need to use anything special but don't go mad with an iron on this. I would use things like a seam roller to press it as you're constructing. Um, and then last of the PUs, we have this one, which is in, is, they, is this a taup or a gray? They've called it gray. Um, I think it's got a more of a mushroom, a taupe feel to it. It's, you know, a sort of a brown gray yeah, I like that more. It's not that very cool. It's a warm grey. Seven ninety nine per half meter. Sue's messaging from Cornwall. She says, "I took your book to Craft Club to explain a construction. Not only did they love the book and illustrations, they were super impressed that you signed it." Ah, oh, thank you, Sue. I'm glad. Oh, well, I'll sign other people's books, and I have many times. I don't just sign my own books. <laughs> Joyce from Monmouth just says, I bought this book when it first came out, but only just heard you say about templates at the back. Who knew? <laughs> Joyce. Joyce. Yes, there they are. I found them now. Bonus. A bonus. Yes, I've signed... Uh, Years ago, I used to get... It doesn't really happen now, but years ago, people used to think I was Kay Fassett at quilt shows sometimes sometimes and um you know the fact that he's 85 six foot two an american i'm five foot eight barely english 52 you know anyway but but yes quite often even when i'm doing book signings occasionally somebody will give me a copy of cave bassett and ask me to sign it so i do um obviously no i sign as me it's a nice little surprise when they get home. <laughs> this is quilted PU. Now, I should just say, it's not quilted in the sense that it's stitched in this grid. It's actually, it's almost sort of embossed. It's embossed. Yeah. 
it looks like it's stitched but it's actually embossed so it's kind of printed almost on the fabric so it still has that lovely texture um, but it isn't actually stitched um, very nice this would be gorgeous for clothing wouldn't it can you imagine a like a jacket made in this yeah turning up at the school disco in a skirt made out of that hello hello i have arrived yeah i think it's fab or yeah you know a, a handbag um over the shoulder messenger would be lovely but i do think this would be really nice for clothing too and it's soft and flexible you know if i just hold this up so you can see the drape it is drapey as well so don't think oh goodness me no a skirt would be like it so wouldn't it's got a little bit of stretch to it as well actually more than a little bit but a stretch so um costume making as well what about a spaceman slash woman nice nice oh what about armor george and the dragon style yes Yes, yes, yes. I used to shy away from PU, says Collector in Merseyside, until I got a piece of the quilted one in a scrap bag. It's so easy. Easy to sew and lovely and soft. It really is. It really is. It's um, nothing to be afraid of. If you like a scrap bag, by the way, um, make sure you tune in tomorrow. Tomorrow, whole morning, is about many things. It's going to be about mothers for sure because tomorrow's mother's day so i will definitely be celebrating all the mums and the you know not mums but do the jobs of mums and the, and the role of mums or a special women to us i have a number of very very special women in my life um who i love to celebrate including my wonderful mum but also tomorrow will be about clearance and we will be having scrap bundles and bags so um do make sure you tune in won't you I'm excited I love a scrap you know me now then more PU this is more quilted embossed PU this is in this amazing rose pink I do love a scrap I do love a scrap I love the eclecticism of a scrap bag because it, as, as our lovely collector in Merseyside just pointed out you get fabrics that you'd never normally pick that you think okay what about oh this is interesting it just gives you a chance to try something lovely and drapey lovely and soft um you could make something as i say clothing a jacket again in that pink lovely doesn't pink make the boys wink i think it does in my experience yeah right that's that we've got some cork we've got some cork let's start with silver now this is again really easy to sew with if you've never sewn with cork before it's easy to think of wine corks and goodness me i do but um it's not stiff and hard and difficult like you might imagine it's actually really quite flexible Mm, less flexible than PU so don't start thinking about making a jacket but for um, for bag making brilliant um, it's very very stable this one's got a very fine sort of vein almost of silver running through it it almost looks like rock with precious metal veining through it it's really lovely and sparkly but subtle too um, looks great mixed with PU really nice mixed with PU it also mixes really well with fabric so you can make bags where maybe you've got the top or the bottom made in cork and then the other part of it made with fabric you can make shoulder straps with it as well looks great really nice 949 a half meter um, width wise again should just mention uh, it is wide it is a generous 56 inches wide all right that's our cork and then we've also got a black and white cork so again with that sort of veining in it so no sparkle on this one but black and white 
What about something like a tablet cover or a laptop cover? That would be yummy. You can also do things like, um, you know, placemats for the table or a runner for the table as well. This would be really nice for outdoors too. You know, layer it up. You can add a binding around the outside edge. What about a black and white striped binding all around the edge? Collector from Tyne and Weir says, my 11 year old granddaughter has made a school bag from your book. She loves the book. Oh, that's awesome. Please, can I see pictures? That sounds great. And I love the fact that your 11 year old granddaughter is sewing and making bags. That is awesome. Well done. Um, the book has sold out, by the way. Well done if you managed to get it. We'll get some more. We'll try. We'll try. I'll speak to the author. I'm actually, now I shouldn't, I shouldn't tell you this, but I am working on a follow-up to Bags for Life. I know. And the thing is, when I wrote it, I did say, you know, the only bag book you'll ever need until I write another one, and then you'll need that too. <laughs> yeah, it does happen. Now I have a couple of canvases. <clears throat> this is gorgeous. Very classy. Now, this is a... Well, it is a canvas, but it's quite a soft and light one. So if you wanted to use this for curtains, a blind, light upholstery, you absolutely could. It is beautiful. It makes really nice cushions too, but it's also great for bag making. 749 per half metre. It's lovely. Do you know what? Let's have a little price crash. Let's do it. Thank you, 6 99 say 50p per half metre. It's 100% cotton and it's 140 centimetres wide, which in your good old inches is 56. 56 inches. Fran's got in touch from Greater London. That's a lovely print. Isn't it gorgeous? Really classy. I could imagine, you know, um, bolster cushions, Nice cushions with piped edges. Tie backs for curtains. Tie backs, well curtains, a blind in this, a Roman blind would be absolutely, can you imagine, lovely. That hanging at the window, really nice, really smart. What about a lovely bean bag chair for the garden in that you know for a little um you know lounge room what about a lampshade cover what's lovely about this actually is this sort of gray taupe background because that would fit into so many interiors and if your interior is very neutral but you want to add a little pop of color this is subtle isn't it it's a large scale print but it's subtle it's soft it's gentle it's not in your face Love that. Now, even more subtle, pretty. Mum, I'm thinking this would look lovely in your sitting room. Oh, I'm a bit in love with this. Now, you know me, I love colour, but look at that. That is gorgeous. That is a bit of all right. That is a bit of all right. Eucalyptus. Mm. Would be really nice for a lampshade cover. Gorgeous. Great price too, isn't it? Six ninety nine for a half meter. It's the kind of fabric that you'd go to a certain large department store and expect to pay about £30 a meter for fabric like that. Could make some very, very classy curtains. Very, very easy to sew, by the way. It's 100% cotton, so it's going to take a hem. It's going to take a press really well. Super easy to sew. It's going to behave itself. So if you've never made curtains and blinds before, this is going to be lovely. I made a Roman blind recently using a fabric that looked quite similar to this, but it was like such a loose weave that when you cut it, it was just constantly changing shape i cut out what i thought was a square it was a parallelogram it was a nightmare i mean it looks lovely finished but i'm so glad 
and that it's finished. This would be so much easier. All right, it's about to sell out. Well done if you got that. That was a bit of a bargain. We're going to go for a break now. When we come back, uh, I'm rejoined by our fabulous guest. Uh, don't go anywhere. I'll see you after this. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. 
Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Hi everybody, welcome back to Sewing Street. It's great to have your company on this National Quilting Day. Um, it's Global Quilting Day every day in my house, but this is one day of the year that's recognised for all us quilt makers Fun fact, apparently the word quilt comes from the Latin culquita, which means a stuffed sack or mattress. Oh, I did not know that. There you that. go. Charlie calls me little culquita. <laughs> I'm like a little stuffed sack, apparently. <laughs> Lovely. Right, now, Emma Bradford is back. Hello. Yes. Hi. Gorgeous hair, gorgeous nails. How thank are you, you doing? Thank you. Good, good, good. Good hour? Yeah. Great. Yeah. Ready yeah. to do it all again? Mm -hmm. You've got a doozy of a quilt. <gasps> yeah, I love it. This love demonstrates that. the versatility yes. and the sheer design possibilities of HSTs. Yep, half square triangles. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. Perfect I love way them. in. Mm. Mm -hmm. it, I think it's like <clears throat> if you started doing squares, or well, you think about starting with squares, this is like the next step up, mm -hmm. definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, but the possibilities are almost endless of the designs that you can make mm -hmm. from just half square triangles and you've given us nine different options in the pattern i yeah, think and that's just what i could think up i mean uh, there's more so many more more than that so many more um it's just incredible um but you'll you'll see really you know we've got two versions hanging up here i've got more versions inside the pattern in front of me um, just incredible, so many different ways to arrange your units. You've got to do the same piecing. Look at this one right here. Love this one with the star centre. Mm -hmm. This I can't believe almost mm -hmm. that these are all made from exactly the same, same units, just arranged in different ways. We'll be having a play with half square yes, triangles in a bit. But anyway, let's get to it and have a look at the kits that we've got. These are beautiful. Now, shall we start with the floral? yeah this is beautiful so in this one you're getting um, a layer cake from Moda this is Grace and I'm just going to open this up so we can have a look through the lovely fabrics now this is absolutely beautiful sort of shabby chic style now, I was showing Emma Ooh. a picture earlier on, wasn't I? I've just yeah. done a shabby chic quilt. Um, so enjoyed working with these soft pastel colours. Mm -hmm. You can see this one actually made up. It's hanging behind Emma. These are all lovely little florals, soft blues and pinks, a little bit of grey, lovely soft apple green, lots of rose, lots of shades of pink and raspberry in there, um, and a little bit of soft buttery yellow as well 
Um, that bit. shade of green is gorgeous. Yeah. It was really lovely to work with. It just sort of, because I've worked on it over the last couple of weeks when we've had that horrible weather. Mm -hmm. And it was like a little bit of spring. Oh gosh, on. absolutely. Spring and summer, isn't it? Love these raspberries. Look at that. Really mm. nice. That sort of crushed raspberry coolie. Beautiful. And love a micro gingham. Absolutely lovely. So you're getting your 10 inch squares. This is all Moda. It's a design range called Grace. And then you're also getting three metres of white solid plus your pattern for half square triangle sorry half square triangle heaven quilt now that price 74.99 what size quilt do we make what size I quilt is that 70, is it 72 by 85 75 by 87 okay even well bigger. that's huge <laughs> it is it's a good it's a good generous single bed size or it would go on a double side, double yeah. bed, but like as a Top. topper. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, you've got so many different design possibilities. If you prefer to sit it like this, you can absolutely do that. Look at some of these other designs as well. I've got some of these here. Uh, just love those different designs. These are all possible. And $74.99 for a like, double bed size quilt, except Ooh. there are those arrows. We're dropping that price to 69.99, which is amazing value. Less than 70 pounds for a double bed size quilt, all of your fabrics that you're gonna use for piecing your quilt top and a pattern as well, which you can use again and again and again. It is brill. Right, that's one option, light, fresh, summery. Now, this second option is deeper darker stronger quite glamorous and sensual mm -hmm. don't you think yeah um this is from this is called arcadia from pippa shaw um let me show you the well i'm going to show you the coordinate first of all you get three meters of this absolutely incredible deep magenta so this is your coordinate and then look at these amazing fabrics that you're going to use for your half square triangles. So deep blues and purples, you get three of each. Love those. This is the one that Emma's going to demo with. So this is going to have a totally different look and a totally different feel. Love that fabric there beautiful so you get all these different options love the snowdrops that's really soft and delicate that's a smashing color that lovely salmon they're beautiful the star design actually made up in this would look good wouldn't it this one right oh. here on the front and of course you've got some light prints but think about how that's going to contrast with your magenta it's going to look absolutely incredible. That's pretty. And that one, beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. We're going to match the price. It should be $74.99. You're getting your instructions as well for $69.99. You'll make a 75 by 87 inch quilt. That is huge. That is huge. Amazing money. And now, Emma, I'm just thinking here, mm -hmm. could I make, if I wanted to make like a smaller quilt oh, yes. with some cushions, could I? Yes, absolutely, because the instructions also include the, how to make it for a wall hanging. Oh. So the main instructions are made from a layer cake mm -hmm. and then background fabric. Yeah. If you want to do a smaller version or a wall hanging, um, you can do it with a charm pack oh. as well, so a five inch charm pack. That's awesome. So if you're buying the pattern on its own or you bought one of the kits, you'll use that pattern again and again. You can do it with a layer cake or a charm pack. Yes. And make a mini. Ah, and we can then do all the different designs with, in a mini version. Yep. That sounds yep. like a match made in heaven. I love that. <laughs> now, if you want to get the pattern on its own, you can. Let's get those details for you. Half square, triangle, heaven. Just 
sum of the possibilities in a half square triangle quarter of the stock went on pre-order absolutely brill uh, Lynn says another great hour coming up with Emma Bradford I oh. think I'm trouble uh, I'm in trouble with friend Eileen for leading her into temptation this morning. Emma also does amazing long arm quilting. Oh, yes, bless you do. You. Thank yes, you. Yes, you do. Beautiful. Love those Thank you. Yeah, designs. Yeah, both of those. But equally, you could easily quilt these Just on line. a domestic machine. Exactly. And I was thinking if I didn't do this pattern on this one, I think this would look really stunning in just diagonal lines. I was thinking exactly the same, just yep. masking tape and yep. walking foot. Yep. Yeah, lovely, absolutely yep. lovely. Uh, yeah, so many possibilities. This is a gorgeous design too. I love these big loose oh, flowers. Mm -hmm. Smashing, gorgeous. So many possibilities. Um, the pattern is flying out. It's nine ninety nine. You get full instructions for making your units, but then it's the real fun comes in how you set them out and how you play with them. Over half the stock is gone. Well done if you've managed to get yours. Um, don't forget, we've crashed the price on both bundles. You're making a saving today. And this is a big quilt. This is a big quilt, 75 inches by 87 inches. That is a really good size. That's about as big as a lot of quilt makers make, isn't it? It really? is, it is. Well, I do try to, so my philosophy is very much, all of my quilts are used. Mm -hmm. And so whether we're sitting on the couch yep. under them or on the bed, picnic Love blankets, that. I yeah. do use and abuse them, I do have exactly. to admit. And that's what Me they're too. for. That's what they're for. Throw yep. them in the wash when they wear out, we'll make more. Exactly. Don't worry, we'll make more. Exactly. Now, Jane, who's in North Lincolnshire, has got in touch with a fabulous photograph. Jane used Emma's pattern, the quilt pattern, but then did it in pinwheels <gasps> and did Quilt As You Go. Oh, fabulous. Love all the inspirational makes on Sewing Street. Jane, you've inspired me. Look at that. Wow. Wow. That's, and that's what I love as well, is that my patterns are always sort of a serving suggestion yep but if you can wing it and make something absolutely fabulous on top of that yeah i love to see that i love for to sure. see it for yeah sure. it's a springboard I mean, yeah it really it's is it really is so what jane did there was she's used four units together to create a pinwheel block laid and quilted that and then joined it with other quilted blocks with quilters you go with sashing strips in between you could do fours you could do nine together yeah 16 you can split a quilt up can't oh, you yes absolutely mm. just so it's equal units or yeah. even not even units right doesn't matter amazing so lots of ways you can do it mm -hmm. love that okay shall we get into demo yes let's make a start yes let's make a start, let's start. so that i will say there are two different ways of doing your HSTs, which I do outline in the instructions. Uh, I'm gonna do the quilt version mm -hmm. using the layer cake. There's another version using the, the charm pack. Okay. Equally as, as simple and as easy as each other. So the first thing is we're going to cut squares. Okay. For our background to match the layer cake. Okay. And so it's against width of fabric strips, which are then cut down into, into squares. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to cut my width of fabric strip first. So, so are you up. going to be cutting 10 inch squares? I am. Now this will be a really useful demo because I get asked this all the time. Mm -hmm. How do I cut pieces of fabric that are bigger than my ruler? Because not everyone's got a 10 or a 12 or a 15 inch square no. ruler and you don't have to have one. You're going to show us how? I am, I awesome. am. So I've got my fabric all nice and squared and lined up. I'm going to line up one of the folds on my cutting mat. And even though I'm cutting 10 inch squares, this smaller mat is actually perfect. Great. Oh, I've got to find my, somewhere under here. Your rotary cutter, rotary I'm the same, it's always buried <laughs> in the fabric. Okay, so. I'm going to cut my edge off, mm -hmm. first off. So that just gives me a nice clean edge. There we go. Mm -hmm. I, I do like to open it up just to make sure that I've got the full width of fabric. Def oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to cut my first strip at 10 inches exactly. We 
we go. So have you counted across on the mat? I have. So I've used the lines on the mat rather than the lines on my ruler. Mm -hmm. Now, typically when I do quilting, I always say, <clears throat> Stick to the lines on your ruler mm. because they do tend to be a bit more accurate. However, mm. there are times when you have to cut a measurement that is bigger than your ruler. Yeah, for sure. And so the lines on your mat are perfect for that. Yeah. And for this quilt, we don't have to cut any smaller pieces than that. So you can just continue using all the lines on your mat. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to open up my strip and reposition it. So that one of the cut lines is on one of the horizontal lines. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to repeat the same process. I'm leaving it folded in half. Mm -hmm. So it's two layers of fabric thick. So we're cutting two squares for the price of one. Exactly. Love that. If you're very ambitious and confident, you can actually layer up two strips, mm -hmm. making sure that they are even top and bottom with the yep. cut edges and actually cut four at a time. Yep. But I mean, if you're confident. these are big units, you'll get there quickly enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I exactly always think there's a will. danger, isn't there, if you cut too many layers that you make the same mistake four times, is this it is twice? True. Yes, this is true. <gasps> I, ask me how I know. <laughs> <laughs> I am in love with that colour. Gorgeous. We actually had curtains this colour when I was a kid. And until literally within the last year, I still had them. Like they'd been passed down. Nice. And um, yeah. plain or patterned? They were pa plain ish. They had sort of a, you know, how the, that peppered cotton? Yeah. It was mm -hmm. sort of that with a little bit of dark blue, maybe, Ooh. but mostly this colour. Nice. Yeah. And <laughs> I don't know what they were made of, but literally. The colour was this vivid from the moment they were made yes. till yeah, it did not mm. did not fade whatsoever. Anyway, I digress. It's probably a smattering <laughs> of polyester in there. I think so. Yes, <laughs> yes. It was the vintage seventies. Now, Pat asked a good question. Morning, Stuart and Emma. Morning. What is used? Yes, morning. Um, what is used to hang up the quilts on the wall behind you? Oh. Happy quilting day. Well, wow. do you know it's 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 very low tech, but it works <laughs> an absolute treat. It is a curtain pole mm -hmm. with rings with do they call them cafe clips? Cafe clips. Little alligator. Yeah, like little alligator clips that clip onto the yeah. onto the quilt. Yeah. And they, look at the cellar tape, look at that. We're <laughs> held together with masking tape and tears. They're learning all <laughs> our secrets. Yeah. Well, our yeah. behind the scenes secrets. I know, I know. Okay, so next step is, and I tend to do this, um, you don't have to do this, but I tend to do it just because I know it's all going to be nice and even. So what I will do is I will actually press my squares together, layering up and pressing them together. You Tell can us pin why. as well. Tell us why you do that. Um, well, one, it's, I know that they're nice and pressed. Mm -hmm. Pressing them, which sounds a bit can, it sounds a bit silly, but when you press them together, they do slightly stick to each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. So I know that they aren't going to shift, mm -hmm. but you can also pin as well. Mm -hmm. There we go. So pins, 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 pins. So what I've done is I've just layered up one square of my layer cake with one square of my background, mm -hmm. and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch seam all the way around the perimeter of okay. both of them. So you're in essence making four half square triangle units at once. Okay, I like the sound of that. Yes. I like the sound of that a lot. It's funny, isn't it, how like the half square triangle is such an absolute fundamental of patchwork. It is. So many ways to use them, but also so many ways to make them. There's loads of different ways you can make half square triangles. This oh. is a cool method. I've re-threaded and I've got a bit too much. Ooh. A bit too much thread. There we go. I won't do a job. Uh. <laughs> Oh, and the other beauty of this pattern and this method of doing it is you don't have to be precious about your quarter of an inch seam allowance. Okay. Because all going to be the same. So as long as it's consistent, right. so use the same machine, the same settings right. throughout. Okay. You don't have to be precious about how, okay. I, how I normally say, do your little squares together. Yep. 
make sure that your quarter of an inch is accurate. Uh -huh. For this one, you just... Just be consistent. Just be consistent. Yeah. <clears throat> One thing I will say, and it does depend on the layer cake that you have, mm -hmm. is I always put the background square on the top. Yeah. Uh, simply because I know that is going to be 10 inches square exactly. Okay. Because sometimes the layer cakes, and especially if they've got the um, pinked edges, because you're not quite sure should you go in the peak or the trough. Yes. If you consistently gauge your quarter of an inch seam allowance from the edge of your background square mm -hmm. don't worry about the no, because that's a straight edge it is that's a brilliant tip yeah so if if your layer cake square underneath overlaps slightly mm -hmm. your background square yeah. or it's ever so slightly short don't panic it doesn't matter it doesn't matter mm -hmm. go by the the background square and I haven't even gone over the edge you can see it on the on the sewing mm -hmm. I've literally just turned the corner mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter if we go off the edge and then it, turn it. No, you can do. Fine. Just personal preference yep. or how, how you find it easiest. Okay, great. Easy peasy sewing, I like that. Mm -hmm. You don't always want very complicated, do you? Sometimes it's just nice to do a simple block, do it well and then have fun with the creative it's side, which is yes. putting them together. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, which I have. I completely forgot. Oh, if you'd like. Do I get to play? Have a play, have yes, a play. Yes, please. So we can see what it's going to look like. Yes, well I'm gonna grab your pattern because there are some fantastic ideas in the back of that. Now the pattern on its own, there are single figures left. Um, it's, the pattern is included in both bundles, so if you go for one of the bundles, you will get the pattern. Um, now then, oh, pressure's on, isn't it? It is. To come up with something, to come up with something interesting, I hope. <clears throat> well, I do have to admit, I do love a layer cake pattern. Because invariably, maybe tomorrow, especially if the people in your life know that you're a quilter, mm -hmm. layer cakes will invariably be something that is very easy to gift. Oh, yes. So we do find ourselves sometimes with a lot of gifted layer cakes, which are gorgeous. Yes. But we don't always know how to use them. No, that's very true. This is one of those options. It's very true. Ooh, I'm liking that. Wow, what I'm I'm just wondering about mm -hmm. uh, space. Let's move that. I need more space. I need more space. This is something, you know, I always think about, you know, don't play with your food, but <laughs> do play with your quilt blocks. Because you can have so much fun trying these out. The other thing I sometimes do is to um print off um, paper with half square triangles oh. on, cut them up and then play with those. Oh, that's in the a good idea. Because I can sit and do that at the table yes. and I can do the whole quilt, you know, mm -hmm. rather than scrabbling around on the floor. Yeah. So I was just thinking that this might be quite a nice design. That is nice. And of course you could explode that outwards. Oh, that is really nice. Um, 12 left of this purple kit, by the way. 12 left of this purple kit, that's all. Um, and then you could just keep exploding this outwards. So you just keep the orientation going the same and go further out, that would work. Or you could do blocks like that couldn't you big blocks and then join those together oh yes and if you wanted to do quilt as you go you could if you thought that you could happily quilt something that size you could layer that up with backing and batting quilt that 
do like four of those and then have your quilt as you go just yeah like a center. round robin so you've yeah. got a medallion you, well, and then you could, you could yeah. do you could do strips oh, yeah, yeah, yeah borders yeah, yeah. yeah you can you continue that that way. i was thinking you could do you know across through the centers it was just sashed but yeah you yeah. could do it that way too amazing yeah. right i've had a little play you've yeah, done some sewing i've done some sewing okay so i've got all of the the edge of my block well pieces sewn together mm -hmm. so we've got a nice quarter of an inch seam all the way around and then what we do is literally cut a diagonal both ways okay easy as that as easy as that the only trick to this uh, a rotating mat is really nice right so if you can cut one way and then rotate and do yes. the other. Yes. Otherwise, clear the decks yes. and be able to turn your mat. I like I like your your planning ahead. I, I am. appreciate that. I'm thinking that. ahead. Well, I work in organised chaos quite a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. So when I have the opportunity to be a bit more organised, I take it. Nice. Thank yeah. you. Can I can I borrow you? Can I take? Yeah, it definitely. <laughs> I just recently actually made made a couple of quilts with someone else oh. which I've never done before oh. as such and that was really quite an interesting process and I enjoyed that mm -hmm. and it was interesting how working with somebody else made me change a little bit mm -hmm. in good ways yeah I was a bit oh. more tidy more <laughs> yeah I have to be I'll I was on my be best behavior like basically nice so once we've done that what do we do then I'm, then I'm still not seeing half square triangles Oh, now I see it. Then gotcha. you see it. Right. Well, that's easy. There we go. So you get four. Is that the and then you press them. Yes. Do you want me to press these? Oh, yes, please. And you can press them open or you can press them to the side, either way. Can I do them to the side? Is that all right? Yeah, that's what I did, to okay, be honest cool. with you. And it was absolutely fine. Now, obviously, the outside edges of these squares are on the bias. They are. But you know what? The only thing I'll say about that is don't tug them right and they will behave themselves beautifully yeah. and actually i did find especially putting this one together so everything was quite regimented mm -hmm. when i sewed so i did how did i do it? i actually did this one in quarters mm -hmm. partially because it was easiest for me to randomize the the fabric that ah, way ah got you but i did do them in strips which i then sewed together mm -hmm. and i did press the seams going one way or the other so they nested mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and what I found was that little bit of bias there's enough of a slight bounce that you can really make your seams nest yep. and match really well you've got that little tiny bit of stretch yeah I yeah. like that I didn't abuse it you don't abuse it but you can can just take advantage of that little bit of bounce that happens yeah. in that bias to make them, sense yeah have nice matched corners makes a lot of sense um and also as well, you're just saying about working in quadrants, that is a really useful tip, I think, because you've got four identical units per mm -hmm. recipe, if yes. you like, and you can you can keep those in four piles and then you know yep. you've spread all your fabrics out, don't yep, you? Yeah, that's exactly what I did Perfect for this. Perfect balance. Yep. Oh, clever. I like it. Thank you. So what do we do now? Uh, well, once you've got all of your... Uh, half square triangle units done yeah definitely do this bit before you start thinking about the next bit mm -hmm. uh, then it's a case of laying everything out if you've got space mm -hmm. on a floor um, lay out see which design you, you like the best yep. so do you want something that's a bit more regimented like mm -hmm. the one behind you where I've kept certain colors together or do you want completely random like the shabby chic one yeah yeah or do you want a bit of both I think I want a bit of something in one corner that's kind of spreading out. Ooh, so I'm just good. wondering. See, I love anything that's got a diagonal in it, a strong diagonal. Um, so we don't have to trim our units. We no, are, once I literally, we've made them, we're good to go. I trimmed as I sewed them together. Mm -hmm. I, I'm a completely lazy quilter, I will admit. So what I did was, once I have decided my layout, how I wanted them, mm -hmm. what I then did was piled them up to mm -hmm. sew them into twos first. Mm -hmm. um, and then when I sew them into twos, that's when I would trim my dog ears, mm -hmm. um, top and bottom. And then I, I, you, you do end up with quite a bit of um, fabric confetti, I will admit. Okay. If you want to trim them all before you get to the sewing part, that's absolutely, if you want to do that, no problem. Yeah. It's whichever way works best for you. 
but like I said, I'm a lazy quilter, so <laughs> I do it as I go. Well, I'm thinking what I might like here is, we're gonna sew some together? Yeah. Awesome. So I'm just wondering if we can do like a big star block. Oh. And then kind of expand out from there. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Do you approve of where I'm placing fabrics? If you don't, then change them, won't you? No, I think it looks great. Yeah? And then if I do, um, like, that Ooh. kind of outer... That's nice. Is that going to work? Ooh, what about, though, mm -hmm. I'm just going to change one thing. What about changing so that you've got two oranges? Right. You've got two blues. Yeah. Maybe have two... You've got two sort of similar ones there. Maybe yeah. change this one out to another orange. Maybe... Okay, if what, so, so like have that even, one there? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Those are two oranges, aren't they really? Yeah. And then, so, have blues over here? Oh, that's pink. Oh, oh right, pink then. Yeah, blues there. And then, what, purples here? Yeah. What do you think? That was a, Ooh. Mm, like my mum would What go, about yellow? Mm, like, no. <laughs> what about yellow? I'm just looking at the monitor. So, because, you know what? Whenever I do it, I always take a photograph afterwards right. on my phone. Because yeah. it always looks different. That's why I was looking on the monitor to decide rather than looking yes. at, at the Have thing. we got lots of yellow options? I'm not seeing lots of yellow. Oh, is there not a lot? No, I'm only really seeing that one, one oh, design the one? there. Hmm, okay, maybe uh, not yellow. What about lavender? Is that no? diff no, that's the same, isn't it? It's the it? same. Purple, lavender? You've got that lavender snowdrop. Is there another lavender? Mm, I've used the lavender oh, okay. snowdrops in that corner, but yeah, yeah, I could do that. We have a message. Ooh. We have a message. Do we have a message? Yes. There we go, thank you. Mm -hmm. Great pattern, Emma. I've bought oh, it to use on a charm pack <gasps> that I've had for ages waiting for an idea. Now I've got many choices yes. that I can use. Uh, love it. Perfect. That's from James in the Isle of Anglesey. Oh, nice. Pattern on its own, by the way, now has sold out. Well done if you got yours. Well, I'm, yeah. Oh, I don't know now. Gosh, it's difficult, it is, isn't, it? isn't it? Once you start playing, you think, oh, but I want this instead. Yeah. So I'm going to put that there. Actually, a charm pack is what actually inspired me because I had the same thing. I'd had a charm pack of Tilda mm -hmm. sitting in my stash forever and ever. Right. And then I think it was over lockdown that I decided, actually, you know what? I'm going to do something with this. And that's how this pattern was born. The next so thing was, you did. Yeah. I love that. Right, okay. I think... I'm set. What do you think? Okay. We're happy with Can that? Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah? Do we approve? Yes. Yeah? Yes. It's all right, says Hannah, producer. Okay, perfect. She's not, so, she's not a quilter, but she's still entitled to her opinion. So, <laughs> what I would do, I don't have it here. We, we can, get, can we get a picture of that so we can refer back to it? Can we get a picture of that, please, Bruce, so we can refer back to it? Are we going to be all posh and do a split screen? Oh. <gasps> Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, says the quilting on the quilts is just beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Love a bit of long arming. Awesome. Yeah. A message. Hi, Stuart oh. and Emma. Any tips Hi. for getting flat seams when making kaleidoscopes from half square triangles? Mine usually come out lumpy. I hear ya open press them open open seams yeah i'm a new convert to open seams i don't do it all the time obviously this one's been to the side but it definitely has its place and mm -hmm. if you want something that's very flat mm -hmm. definitely press them open yes and a wool mat as well yes wool pressing mat yes which i, I yeah i don't what do i say i don't endorse many things lightly mm -hmm, or anything mm -hmm. lightly but definitely a wall pressing mat yeah. is the way to go they are fab and like they you are. say open seams and the other yes. thing as well is if you're using like for example the grace version where you've got a very light with a darker fabric where you might want to press seams one way when you come to actually join your four units together let's say you're doing a pinwheel um join your first two and 
press those seams open when you join the two together, press those seams. So still pressure half square triangle to one way, but when you join them together, press those seams open or join your, your units together with seams pressed towards the dark side, but then when you get into the very center of your pinwheel or that kaleidoscope, actually snip with scissors either side of your seam line or your intersection so that you can actually open up the very center yeah so it almost creates like a little pinwheel of its own in the center and press that flat yeah yeah so yep. one way or another get the center pressed open yes yeah, yeah. exactly okay, cool okay right. so i'm going to come over and be so captain kirk that. Yep. so this is how i do it so i have a little system for picking up things and sewing them well, like, let's put it to the test on yeah. live television okay. then. <laughs> <laughs> well, I developed this because when I used to work in the lab, very invariably somebody will come in and talk to you while you're in the middle of pipetting something mm -hmm. and then by the time that you're Been done... Been there, you're like, done that. Exactly. <laughs> middle of pipetting something. <laughs> so I used to lay everything out in a certain way so that I knew at what stage I was at. Okay. And this is the same sort of principle. Okay. So what I do is I'll put this over here, yeah. this over here, that over that, like that. Yeah. And this same here. Mm -hmm. Oops. There we go. And then that goes on top of that. That's on top of that. This part doesn't really matter quite so much right. because we'll have the picture to see. <gasps> you I terrified know. me now. I'm thinking, no way, I'm lost. So before, what you can do, <clears throat> every time you put one on top of the other, put a little pin on this side mm -hmm. and then I know that that is my sew line. Okay. Uh, I only do it once because I'm kind of... Is anybody else holding their breath? <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm going to sew all these okay. together. Chat amongst yourselves. Yeah. And then we will open them out and... Um, well, I'm going to play and have another go at doing oh, something yes, else do something over else. here. I'm going to do something else over here. So what I'm thinking now is I want to do something that kind of joins up. So anything with a strong diagonal, like a log cabin, lends itself to, well, log cabin style piecing together. Um, you might find it so difficult to decide what you're going to do that you end up doing a sampler and doing all sorts of different designs, which would also be gorgeous. I will say, before you scoop all your bits up, you do have to make sure you have your photo taken. Words to live by, Emma. Yeah. Words to live by. Do you see where I'm going with this? Does this make sense now? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And you see then, what I might do, you could just finish off the corners Yeah, I don't know if the, the table's not really big enough, is it? But sorry, I've gone off the table. Uh, right, yeah, so I'm then going to go off there. That's right, that's right. I confused myself for a moment then. It is like doing a big jigsaw made out of fabric. Great fun. <clears throat> no, I haven't got enough table, but you get the gist. I'm sort of coming down here and creating some squares. And I suppose as well, I mean, yes, your pattern is to use everything and make half square triangles out of everything, mm -hmm. but you could keep some back oh, yes. and do plain squares to mm -hmm. fill in some of the gaps maybe. Oh, yes. Like you might have two plain squares there. Mm -hmm. Or you could echo so I don't know if you can go any further back at all yes so there you've got like a little V do you see what I mean and then you've got your square I'm just going to swap that one out because that's not really working for me that one there I'm just going to pop that 
okay and then you could have those four in the corners do you see so then I'm gonna place this one here like that and then do the same on all four sides so there's loads of different things you can do with this design absolutely loads isn't it funny how I keep on getting the same fabrics in the same position <laughs> You think, oh gosh, there's infinite numbers of possibilities here, and then you think, oh no, that fabric's touching. Yes. Drive yourself mad. Mm -hmm. There you go. You see where I'm going anyway. Nice. That's why I think it's really nice. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. I like that. Is that working? Oh yes, I like that. I like mm. that a lot. Love the combination of fabrics as well. The colours are great. Mm -hmm. Now, just need to let you know, there are three of these bundles left. That's it. When you've checked out your baskets, three left. Uh, it is a fab combination. Really modern and fresh and different. If you always go traditional and you feel like a change, give this bundle a go. Mm -hmm. I think it's a fab combo. And that purple for the background is Divine. amazing. I love it. Yeah. I do it's love it. It's really cool. Okay. Kate would be proud. Oh. He would. I think. Now, how have you got on? Because I feel for you. Okay, I've said them all together. Now I just need the... The, um, the original picture. The original picture so that we can lay them out. As if by magic. Bruce is like, what original picture? <laughs> there it is. Oh, there is. we go. Okay, so this is orange. So this is the bottom. This is the bottom one. Yes, yes. That goes like that. And this is the orange that goes there. And then this is the See, one. See, you said you had a system. Mm hmm And you were not lying. And that goes there. That goes like that. And then this one. Oh. My. Good. And exhale. That, <laughs> that's a high five. That's amazing. That, that's really, that's cool, that works. Yeah. Okay, then I'll do the same thing. So then I put this over, uh -huh. over here. Yeah. And I don't press anything out. I see that. Until I get all my rows done. Mm -hmm. And then I can decide, do I want to put all of my rows going one way yeah. and then the next row so that I'm sort of keeping track as I go along. Keep going. Yep. Is this bit when you pile them up? I think, no, I'm lost now. <laughs> but you're not lost, so that's no, fine. It's long, I would say, if you're going to start doing that, definitely, yep. once you've put one over the other, mm -hmm. then immediately put a pin on the right-hand side so that you know that is your seam. So Fair if enough. you ever get turned around, yep. by the time you get to the sewing machine, you know the pin means that is going to be your seam along fine. that side. Yeah, I get that. And that's again, cool. see, I've got my confetti going i'm just one of those people i've got so many things buzzing around my head that i literally have to sew one and then put it back where oh. it came from <laughs> but i'd like it a system mm -hmm. i'll try it well i don't like to think while i'm sewing no so when i do that it's sort of i do the thinking at the time that i'm putting them Fair together enough. yeah yeah and then i don't have to think about it again definitely worth a try keep my brain ticking over Well, this Christine, menopause, sorry. Look, oh, I was going to say, this menopausal brain needs every trick in the book oh, <laughs> my to <too>. remember things. <laughs> oh, Christy says, love, love, love the magenta. Mm -hmm. It looks so vibrant, Emma Bradford and Stuart Hillard. Thank it you. It does. It's amazing. And um, as an alternative background colour, a neutral, shall we say, it's out there, but it really works. It's giving me ideas about making scraps work at home.
Now, Emma, while you sew, you're always mm -hmm. going off on adventures. What's oh. the What's the latest? Got uh, to ask. Uh, next one, we are um, heading to France. Oh yes. yes. That'll be the next one. This is to. So this is it's just a general holiday. I want to say Provence, but it's not. No, it's Toulouse. Toulouse, that's it. Toulouse. Toulouse. Yeah. So I'm taking Michael to where I grew up. Yes. Has he been before? He's never been to France. Never been to. I've never been to France. <gasps> really? We oui. no. Oh, no. We need to fix that. We do. Really. I've never been to France. <laughs> wow. It's ridiculous. I've been to lots of far-flung places, but places really close by. Yeah. No. 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 You didn't do a day trip at school. No. No. <laughs> I didn't. No. No. A day trip from school. We went to Western once. Oh, okay. Well, we we at our school or every year, like at least once, everybody took a day trip to Boulogne, I think it was. Oh, right. Yeah. Was it yeah. to a hypermarket? Yes. <laughs> came back with 200 ciggies. Yeah, I understand. We took us around the town a little bit, but then they take us to a hypermarket and I'm like, why, why am I here? Because the teachers <laughs> wanted to buy whiskey. Yes. Probably. Yeah. And <laughs> I remember because it, we were at that age, a lot of the people were buying the naughty cigarette lighters that you could buy abroad. With pictures on them. Oh, were yes. they with pictures on? <laughs> well, they were closed, but okay. still, they were scantily clad oh. pictures on. That was, was that the must buy? Yeah, that was Gosh. a thing at the time. Uh, okay, I'm going to need that picture again because we are. Can we have the picture again, please, please Bruce? Thank you. Ah, that's the bottom. That's the bottom. Okay, so I'm in order, just. Why don't we do a sewing street trip to France? Oh, that would be perfect. I'd go. Oh yeah. There's some beautiful fabric shops as well. Uh, oh, there we go. There we go. We should we should have a French retreat, a sewing street. That would be French nice. retreat. Well, do you know? I think we should have either a sewing street retreat or a sewing street cruise. Oh, goodness. can you imagine? That would be fun. like a, I don't know a Mediterranean cruise with presenters and guests. Oh, we could do it from the cruise ship. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, we could, have, we could have classes and things like that, but we could also broadcast from the ship. I, I'd be up for that. I'd be up for that. We should definitely do that. Let's do it. This looks really? lush. Thanks, yeah. So clever. And your system worked perfectly. It is absolutely on point. Wow, that does look good. Yeah. And, and then, then you sew the rows together. Yeah. So now I would decide, I would press them all to one side, possibly this way. Mm -hmm. And then all going that way. Well, so you know, then they I follow nest. somebody online who doesn't press at all until the block is completely together. So even at this stage, mm -hmm. she would flip and then just, you know, with her nest fingers, them. nest them and sew. And then literally when the whole thing's together, then press it. I have to admit, I do do that when I hand sew. Yeah. I, I sew it all together, then I press it out. Mm -hmm. But yeah. It's yeah, cool. I can, you want me to go ahead and do that? We've got yes, 10 minutes, please. So yeah. I'm going to read a message. Can't wait to do yeah. this quilt. Yay. Says Beverly in Norfolk. Mind you, I will be 160 years old by the time I get oh. all my quilts finished. <laughs> Beverly, but think how warm you'll be. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, please do Sewing Street Day or Weekend Workshops from Janet in Buckinghamshire. I want to, Janet. Yeah, that would be oh, fun. Oh gosh, wouldn't it be fun? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, John could be master of ceremonies. Oh yes. Couldn't he? Going around whipping everyone into shape and um, hosting. And we could have knitting and crochet Ooh, workshops. Mm -hmm. Jane Greenoff doing a bit of cross stitch. We, couldn't we? Yeah. Um, Hannah, producer Hannah, what would you do? <laughs> she said, I don't know what I could offer. I suppose I could clean the room. Oh, she could get the drinks in. <laughs> Hannah, you've got so much more talent than that. Oh, thank you. Just to keep me, keep me hydrated. Cruising with Emma and Stuart. I'm up for that, says Fiona. Put my name down for that, Stuart, says Jane. Lynn says, shock horror, Stuart. Never been to France. 
I took a year six class to France on the ferry, the most stressful day of my life, <laughs> I'm sure. Theresa says, I'm there. Um, Fiona says, Gloucestershire school days out was to Sharpness Docks, Eden Valley or Warwick Castle. Well, oh. exactly. We, you know, and I, I was, I went to school in Gloucestershire as well. Okay. And we had day trips to places like West Midland Safari Park or Western Supermare. Oh, maybe they gave our school a little bit extra money because we were, France, we were underprivileged. <laughs> <laughs> our school was a bit R-U-F-F. -F. You were like, where will we get the good brie? I know, let's <laughs> take the kids to France. Yeah. Gosh. No, never been, never been. Um, although I loved doing French O-level. Oh, OK. I loved doing French, I loved mm -hmm. doing the language, you know. Yeah. But just never made it yet. we got to get you there. Although, I've got to say, my very, very first holiday, a foreign holiday with a friend from uni, we went to Tunisia. Oh, yeah. Nice. And, of course, a lot of people in North Africa speak French, French. don't they? Yeah. So yeah. We, we went for a walk on the beach mm -hmm. in the evening and there were, were a couple of um, guards on the beach who had this almost like sort of a, a, a little shack oh. that they had and they... Yeah. sort of guards the beach at night and um, they spoke Arabic and French mm -hmm. so and but no English so oh. we were like okay well let's see if our school schoolboy French, boy French <laughs> will, will work and we sat there for probably about an hour and a half with them talking oh, in all nice. the French we knew yeah <laughs> and they brewed us Tunisian tea, tea mint tea in little glasses which was amazing yes Shanana. And we had so much fun yeah it was great so good old schoolboy French came in. Nice. Yeah. I do love Moroccan tea. It is oh, really yeah. good. And now, gosh, I don't know if I can remember any French, but I suppose if I went, I'd find out. Yeah. Or we'll do the retreat and find out. Yes. Yep, yep. Mesdames et messieurs. Mm -hmm. Mes enfants. Mes enfants. I remember that bit. Mes <laughs> enfants. <laughs> Attendez la classe. No, that doesn't yeah. make sense, does it? Uh, Listen to the class. Attendez les, what's the teacher? Uh, le professeur. Le prophet. <laughs> now I was born to be le professeur. <laughs> Come on. It was la professeur or la maîtresse. La maîtresse. La maîtresse. You see, I'd be one of those people that would literally say bonjour and they'd say English. <laughs> oh. I have to admit, I get, I get confused looks in France because obviously I look English and I'm speaking English whoever I'm with and then I mm. speak French to them and I'm like, I was not expecting that mm. from you. <laughs> mm. It's true. And you speak fluent French, don't you? To a degree, yes. Mm. I work with somebody who speaks Flemish. Oh, well, that is impressive. Mm. She grew up in, in oh. I couldn't say Flemland. <laughs> Belgium. Um, yeah, and she speaks French. And we were at a show once and I heard her talking to somebody in Flemish. It was very impressive. Mm -hmm. That's also very impressive. Look at that. I love it. I love it. One it seam does, away. It does go together so quickly. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Love it. Absolutely beautiful. Big star. Big star. And 69.99 for the kit is incredible value. Emma, thank you. You're welcome. Thank, thank you so much for all those tips. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. we got to get you to France. That's going to be my next mission. I know. That is the next task, isn't it, really? Yeah. France with Stuart. That's yeah. the name of the retreat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to that hypermarket and buy brie and lots of lovely wine. And I, am looking I am looking forward to the food, I will have to admit. Yeah, no, for good sure. Bread. For sure. Yeah. Now then... Um, I'll just quickly recap the kits. We've got purple purple bundle, well oversubscribed. Um, should be seventy four ninety nine. Remember, you get your layer cake. You also get three meters of your background fabric, plus the pattern from Emma Bradford, with so many possibilities for half square triangle heaven for sixty nine ninety nine. We've knocked some money off. It's a great buy. Now. Oh, a lovely message from Yvonne. Stuart, Ooh. you definitely have to take Charlie to Paris. It's yeah. so romantic. Yvonne, I might just do that. 
It's been 20 years. There's still romance. Mm -hmm. Still yeah. romance, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Promenade along the Champs Elysees. Mm -hmm. See, I've got the style. Yeah. Do it. Exactly. Pat pat patisserie, mm -hmm. Valerie, <laughs> with boulangerie, me, avec moi, the boulangerie. <laughs> See, I'd love all the food, wouldn't I? Yes. And the pastries. Yeah. Cro croissant. Mm -hmm. Croissant. I do have a funny story. To croissant. Go on, tell me. So, where I grew up in the south of France, a pain yes. au chocolat is called a chocolatine. A chocolatine. Chocolatine. So, that's what I grew up knowing it as mm -hmm. and then this would have been the 90s we started seeing them in, in pastry shops in england mm -hmm. when i was back at the home by then and they were called pain au chocolat and i'm like oh that just must be like the english french translation of chocolatine because nobody knows what chocolatine is mm -hmm. and it wasn't until like maybe two years ago that i realized that only that part of france calls them chocolatines oh, the rest of france regional yeah it's pain au chocolat oh. and i i had no idea well, that's when you're one of the locals. <laughs> My dad spoke German, but it was Berlin. Oh. He lived in Berlin for years, and it was very, very dialect-based, oh, you know. Okay. So he, like when I was doing German at school, there's no help at all. No. No help at all. <laughs> anyway, I love it. We've also got our grace bundle, which is the beautiful quilt that's hanging behind Emma. Should be seventy four ninety nine. You're saving extra five pounds today. It is sixty nine ninety nine. You're getting three meters of white solid. You're getting your Moda layer cake. Very very pretty that. And your pattern for sixty nine ninety nine. Oh, strange fact of the day. I can still sing the French national anthem from start to finish, oh. but can't speak a word of French. French. That's Kathleen in Essex. That's impressive. Isn't it funny though? how songs stick? Mm -hmm. I was saying that to my mum the other day. There's <laughs> songs I haven't heard for 30 years come on the radio yes. and I can remember virtually every word. How does the brain work like that? I know. Then? I had that same experience driving into it in this morning. I had the 80s radio on yeah. and every yeah. single song was yeah. a sing along. You knew the hot? Yeah. Frere Jacques, oh. Frere Jacques, <laughs> dormez vous, dormez vous. vous. Soggy Semolina, Soggy Semolina. If I remembered that wrong, I don't think so. No, that's right. Emma, thank you for a joyful morning. You're it's welcome. been formidable. Mais oui. <laughs> Et monsieur, uh, merci. Okay, I'm thinking now. <laughs> so I'm going to see you this afternoon now, right? We, oui, we, oui. avec le, uh, le NEC. Yes. Completely garble. <laughs> We're both going to be at the NEC at Sofa yeah. Pleasure this afternoon, aren't we? Wandering yes. around, looking yes. confused, probably. Possibly speaking French, who knows? Je ne sais pas. Je ne sais pas. Pourquoi? <laughs> Merci. Et vous? Uh, Emma, thank you again. You're welcome. See you later. See you this afternoon. Um, and I'll see you after the break. <laughs> Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. 
Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! for ideas for the perfect gift, why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost 
twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Hello, welcome back. Don't adjust your dial. It's all normal, it's all fine. Um, welcome to Yarn Lane. I'm Br'er Rabbit. And this is Mandy Cameron. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Good to see you. And you, it's been a while, hasn't it? It has been a while. Yeah, um, I'm loving <laughs> all of the knits and crochet <laughs> projects today. Yes, I, I know you have a bit of a penchant for knitting i love you? a bit of knitting i do a little bit of crochet now as well yes and i'm loving that too i'm loving these ears we'll get to these shortly but this is all wool couture yeah this is all wool couture yes tell um, me more so they're their own brand they're a company in um barnsley started by um claire gelder who um did the extreme knitting you know the really thick mm -hmm. needles mm -hmm. and the massive um fiber balls of um, um yarn and um after a couple of years she went on dragon's den and got the support of two dragons so i never knew that yes yes so they've helped her expand her business in <sighs> in uh, in design and can i um, ask which two dragons the ones you can't pronounce the names oh sorry. is it theopophetus <laughs> one of them right yeah. and, and i can't Duke remember Suleiman, maybe yeah. I can't remember. Interesting. I remember. I How two. cool. Mm. How cool. Yeah, and good. we've got some really gorgeous like spring and Easter projects um, for today. Where shall we start? Should we start with sheep? Let's start with sheep. Now, be very, very popular. We've got knitted lamb and we've got crochet lamb. We're going to start with knitted lamb. Ending. Oh, I haven't got any codes on any of this, so I'll just have to find them. Uh, that looks like a knitted lamb. Look at that. <laughs> Can only go downhill. <laughs> <laughs> really, really popular on pre order. Now, here is the lamb. Check out. Absolutely gorgeous. I think it might be a Texel. <laughs> gorgeous texture in the body really tactile beautiful love those little oh, little paddy um absolutely gorgeous um same size i think as the crochet just a slightly smaller tension um, or yes the, the crochet looks quite a tight tension because it's like a an, i think it's an iron weight yarn that's done on a three and a half mil so you get a really tight got you got yeah. you they're more or less the same size it all comes down to tension at the end of the day but really beautiful now so there is the um knitted lamb let me show you what you get in the kit all beautifully packaged in these sort of shoebox style isn't that lovely beautifully branded so you get your full pattern um you also get your needles your knitting needles for mm -hmm. free the ones without the bubble yes it's these <laughs> ones here isn't it you get these needles for free now if you go onto the walker website you don't get these you buy the needles separately but they're included for free uh, in these kits that we have here on sewing street slash yarn lane now then um yarn wise you get two balls of the cream these are 50 grams each 50 percent merino and 50 percent acrylic so it's a gorgeous soft machine washable yarn beautiful twist on that yarn that as well. it Isn't is it yeah and it's having that acrylic in there that makes it uh, gives it that twist gives it uh, a bit more durability lovely and bouncy you know. as yes. well beautiful yeah. and then you're also getting 50 grams of the gray which you use to create the face the ears and the legs as well 
You also get your stuffing. So you don't have to buy any stuffing. You get a little bit of black to create your features as well. Plus you get a wool needle as well for sewing up literally everything. You even get the needles included for free. Um, what a great Easter gift. What a great baby shower gift as yes, well. It frankly. is. Frankly. Yeah, one key thing is that it's not done in the round. It's done on two needles. So it's knitted flat and yes. then sewn up. Yes. And correct. the bobble stitch, is that quite easy? It is very easy. Will you show us how? I will, yes. Awesome. Yes. So that's our knitted lamb. Absolutely gorgeous. A real this is this is one of those things that you make for a baby or for a child yes. that they keep forever. It is. It is. It's kind of um, it's the one that they drag around with them everywhere, isn't it? <laughs> Even when they're sleep. 26? Yes, and they can't sleep without it. Exactly right, <laughs> exactly right. It's lammy, isn't it? It's lambkins. It is, it's lambkins. Absolutely gorgeous. Love that. <laughs> I'm not lambkins, I'm bunnykins. Goodness gracious <laughs> me. Now then, we've also got crochet lamb. Crochet lamb, crochet lamb, lamb. is here. <laughs> I'm doing okay so far. Now, crochet lamb, um, I actually, uh, first of all, I said, oh, two knitted lambs, because actually the effect of the crochet is almost identical. I think it's ever so cleverly done to, to mimic the garter stitch and everything. So um, here's your finished crochet lamb. Very sweet. I love the way it looks like it's wearing a lamb costume. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of really the sweet. The, the so bubbles. inside, you're getting a full pattern for crochet this time. You're also getting your crochet hook included. Again, this is for free. You get your crochet hook for free. Then you get two balls of the cream. Same blend, 50% merino, 50% acrylic. Two balls of the grey. Yes, because crochet takes up a little bit more yarn than knitting does. Ah, got you. Okay, I wondered why there was more. Mm -hmm. You also get your black for the features, all of your stuffing, and you're also getting a wool needle for your making up. So this, now is this crocheted in the round? Yes. So this one, this one less making up, just a little yes, bit sewing together. That's right, yeah. Absolutely awesome. The price on that, $25.99 for the crochet lamb. Very sweet. Very sweet. So whether you crochet or knit, there's a lamb for you. Okay, so those are our lambs. Now, what next? Rab well, rabbits, of course. Let's do rabbits. I've got a pink rabbit. <clears throat> I've got a pink rabbit there, and I've also got a grey knitted rabbit. No, they're all crochet. Oh, is that crochet? Yes, that's all crochet. crochet. And then I've got a grey knitted. There is no, that's Easter they, eggs. They just sent me the darker grey and the pink. So not the knitted, grey knitted. Not on the rabbit. No. no, right, okay, so we haven't got a box with the grey rabbit. We'll do graphics. So should we start with the pink? Let's start with the pink. So this is the knit this is the knitted rabbit in pink. We don't have one of the rabbits knitted up, do we? No. no. Okay. So um similar size to the lamb? It will be, yes. Yes. Yep. Okay, absolutely gorgeous. So in your box, you get the pattern for the knitted rabbits. You also get three balls of the pink Bow Baby DK yarn. You get one ball of the cream. You also get a little bit of pink and a little bit of black for the features. So putting the eyes and the nose on. Same yarn mix, by the way, 50% merino, 50% acrylic. Yeah. You get a wool needle stuffing and you also get your needles. Now, am I right? You get two pairs of needles. You do, because there's different sizes. Oh, fantastic. So it's, it's, it's like when you're knitting a, a rib, isn't it? So for the smaller mm -hmm. items, you're going to um, have a smaller size needle probably on the paws and the, the nose 
those yep. and then the rest um, is on the larger needle. It's amazing value, all that for 25 99 including mm. two pairs of knitting needles and those are included for free. Brilliant value, absolutely brilliant value. That's the pink rabbit and again what a gorgeous baby shower or christening gift or a, an Easter gift of course, rabbits, lambs, brilliant Easter gifts. If you're someone you know isn't eating chocolate, can't have chocolate or just doesn't like it. Now we're going to do the grey knitted blanket next. We'll show you that on screen. Sorry, for the grey um, bunny. It's super cute. Very cute. So same mix really. You get three balls of the grey yarn for the body, one ball of the cream. You get a little bit of pink for the nose, a little bit of black for the eyes and then you get your stuffing. Two sets of knitting needles and full instructions all for 25.99. Now, we also have a crochet rabbit, just in the grey though, just in the grey. Oops, that's not the grey, let me find the grey crochet. There we go. Right, so again, this is that same grey as the sheep's made out of, so it's a little bit lighter than that photograph. So you've got that lovely three balls of the light grey. Uh, yarn for the body, cream for the face, you get a little bit of pink for the nose, black for the eyes, you also get your crochet hook you do. and you also get your stuffing and your wool needle plus mm -hmm. full instructions to make it's the crochet rabbit. Complete kit and all you have to have are your tools, you know, your scissors and, yep. um, and but you, even get your you hook. don't even have to block these. So. No. Fantastic. I love that. I love that. And everything is so beautifully packaged. If maybe you know somebody who's having a baby, um, this would be a lovely little kit to have, you know, for those last few weeks, maybe yes. if you're... Yes, because it's, it's actually a present for the mum to start with, mm. isn't it? To actually make it. Yeah. And then she gets to give it to her little one. Yeah, mm. absolutely lovely. Really sweet gorgeous gift really gorgeous so that's our crochet rabbit just available in the grey now then next up yes the brown rabbit hat now officially this is child size <laughs> yes, I don't know what that says about the size <laughs> of my head or brain but there you are um, so this is the brown version. Ah, so there's two colourways, two size options. So we don't, brown, we don't just, think we've we don't got any of those here, have pink. we? Yeah, mm. no, haven't got those with me, but we can show you on screen. Okay, so this is the Wool Couture Mushroom Baby Bunny Ear Hat um, knitting size. So this is the child size with free knitting needles worth five pounds. So is this the smaller version? This is smaller, so this is the largest. So this is probably the one I'm wearing. So this will fit, fit a child up to the age of 52. <laughs> there we go. Approximately, Mandy, approximately. <laughs> 52 year old child, 100% cotton yarn, well, my mum will tell you I'll always be her baby. Well, absolutely, you so, are always. You know, parents, yeah, baby, I'll always you? be her baby. Um, Twenty-four ninety-nine, and then the next size. This is the small child. So same colour. This is the mushroom again, which is the colour I'm wearing. I'm modelling. Uh, Sixteen ninety-nine. This is baby toddler size. Um, you get free knitting needles worth five pounds included for sixteen ninety nine, and that's knitted. Both versions knitted. A uh, message: Just stepped away to make my dad some lunch and came back to you in that hat. It looks amazing on. It's the way I wear it. I think <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, you'll be on that catwalk soon, won't you? <laughs> it's it's the opportunity <laughs> to, to swish. Your... <laughs> Just... Pardon, pardon. Did you say something? <laughs> Doesn't um, Roger Rabbit do something like that? Never Isn't seen it. it. Haven't you? I live it's in a cave, film, Mandy. I live in a cave. Oh. <laughs> I barely have electricity. 
Now I have the cream version here. I mean, super cute. It is super cute. Super Your little one, yeah. cute. This is the larger size for twenty four ninety nine in cream. So this will fit up to a fifty two year old, <laughs> approximately. <laughs> you get all your wool couture cream uh, yarn for this. Uh, and full knitting instructions to fit a large child and free knitting needles worth five pounds for 24.99 now then we also have the small version which will fit a baby slash toddler also in cream for 16.99 i think that's the size that you have in your hand the, this the is the size. this is the smaller size isn't it the, the yeah one, yeah which you know isn't that small in fairness no it's not that small. Very cute. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, give me two minutes and an eyebrow pencil. I can basically transform <laughs> into any animal. It's a gift, Mandy. It's a gift. Obviously, I could right. do it. <laughs> with more. With more. Little shoes, yeah, little scary. shoes. Cream or pink, yes. Cream yes. two sizes, pink two sizes. Right, child size cream. Mandy, what sort of size are we talking about for the child? Um, sort of, um, there's three sizes on the pattern. Oh, right. So I, I believe it's, it's baby, toddler, child. Gotcha, gotcha very cute love the fact that they're little rabbits with ears and yeah. a tail and everything yeah. obviously and be aware they don't have grips on the bottom so, so. that's the child size mm -hmm. the pink one is the toddler size yeah because the one that i've done is a bit of a demonstration and is there a baby which is there even is. smaller oh yeah cute yeah teeny tiny lovely so the three different sizes but you get cream yarn and then and then there's a different size of cream. So what does that do? The little ones, baby and toddler, right? 16.99 for those. You get all your yarn, you get your free knitting needles and your pattern, 16.99, super cute. And then we've also got the same options in pink. So for starters, then we'll go with the larger child size. So you get your pink yarn, you get your knitting needles, you also get your instructions. You do, yes. And I'm not too sure if you get the sewing needle on yes you'll get your sewing needle you do well. you get your needle as well awesome very cute in pink and then we also have the option to do the smaller sizes the toddler or the baby mm -hmm. and we can make either of those two sizes yes, yes. great perfect yeah, for 16.99 depending on your tension you might get two baby sets great. out of one yeah. Yes, yeah. Or if I'd got enough, I'd make a third one mm. just to replace the lost one that yes. gets kicked off. Oh, what a good idea. What a good idea. I try, Always keep I a spare in socks. your bag. Isn't I do it with socks. I knit a third oh, when sock. You knit your socks. If I can. Do you? I'll knit a third one in case one either wears out or I lose one or whatever, you know, Aye. accidents happen. <laughs> right. Very cute. The knitted lamb. Knitted lamb is in the lead. Ooh. Knitted lamb. This is I'm a not fun surprised. make. It this is, is a good. fun make. Could we start demoing that? Yes, yes. That would be awesome. Me Let me find the kit for you. Uh, that's crochet. That is knitted lamb. Thank go. you, Mandy. Thank you. Oh, this is. I've got to tell this joke quickly. Okay. Catherine's got in touch to say you wearing that hat reminds me of a joke my dad used to tell. It was his cure for hair loss. Put two rabbits on your head, and from a distance, they look like hairs. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Love it. Right, Mandy, away you oh, go. Right, where am I going with this? Okay. Well, when I first started um, this demonstration at home, I found my tension was really, really tight, because I am a tight knitter. Okay. And you, you know, you understand tension, don't you? So yeah. they it comes with three and a half mil um, knitting needles and I found it was you know coming up very very tight and it wasn't feeling right to mm -hmm. me so I, I started it again um, and I started it on four four mil needles mm -hmm. and it's it's 
made it much, much better mm. and a much better tension. But you can see the difference in sizes oh, from gosh, when I did yeah. on the three here and the four mil there. Mm -hmm. So this is just so that if you know you have a tight tension, mm. you might just want to do a test piece first mm -hmm. to make sure it's going to be the right size or yeah. you're happy with it. Don't yeah. sort of do all of it and then think, oh, yeah, then you're not happy with it. Right. Just do it at the beginning. Do a little, Will you be all right with bits. yarn usage if you do go up a needle size? As far as I'm aware, yes, they always um, give There's you plenty. more than enough. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So on the um, row to do a bobble, mm -hmm. and on this one we knit in the back of the, the stitches. We're not doing a normal stitch. We're doing okay. it into the back because then that twists the stitch at the bottom and gives you a tighter tension. Mm -hmm. um, if I hadn't have done that on my first piece, I might have been okay, mm -hmm. but I'm following the pattern. So mm. um, I'm going to knit just into the back of that first stitch, and then I'm going to make the bobble. And it does give you the instructions on the pattern how to make the bubble. Mm -hmm. So if you've not done it before, just follow it, just a little step by step. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, you knit into the front and the back of the next stitch, which means you knit into the front. Yep. Then you knit into the back. Yep. And then you have to do that again, again. in the same stitch. Same so you need to stitch. Do it twice. Yeah. So into the front again, mm -hmm. and then into the back. So that one stitch has become four. Yes. Okay, so then you turn. It does tell you to turn and you'll have four stitches. And you have to purl those mm -hmm. four stitches. So I'm literally just going to ah, purl okay. So we're these working four. back on ourselves now. We are. We've turned really early. We've not gone mm -hmm. to the end of the row like mm -hmm. we would normally. And we're just purling those four. And then we turn again mm -hmm. to come and, and knit. And what you do is you knit two together twice. So you're reducing those four stitches down to two. Down to two. So we're knitting two together. So we went one to four, and now we're doing four down to two. Yes, and then we'll do two down to one. Gotcha. So then we just got to knit two. See this, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit with my say, tension here. If you here. knit really tightly, yeah, yeah. definitely go up. Definitely. Yeah, so then I've gone down to my two, mm -hmm. and then to get it down to one, you do like a little cast off. So mm -hmm. you pass the second one over the last one. Ah, and, and there's that, your bobble. Yeah, so oh, then your cute. next stitch is telling you to knit, and this is what makes it pop as well. If you then do your knit three in the back mm -hmm. here, and your bobble, you can see your bobble sticks out. Perfect. So then you do another one. Show me again, show again, me again. I'm just going to knit into the front, then take my yarn round to the back so I can mm -hmm. knit into the back. Sorry, my needle. Oops, so it didn't pick it up there. And then you knit into the front again. Oops. There, and then once more into the back. Mm -hmm. So your one stitch becomes four. There we go. And then I'm turning, mm -hmm. and this is where I just purl, just mm -hmm. across those four. Three, four, turn back again, mm -hmm. and then four has to become two. So you just knit two together. Yep. So I'm, just, I'm not doing a slip slip, I'm just pulling them both together mm -hmm. and knitting the two. And then I'll knit those two. I suppose if your tension was a bit tight, you could always slip them onto the right needle and then slip them back again just to loosen them slightly. I guess, I guess so. You know, yeah. I do that yeah, sometimes. Just a little, bit of a wriggle, a wiggle. Room, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So then we've just got to take the back one over the front one. And that's our bobble. And, that's and then our knit bobble. the next three stitches into the back. Yes. But Perfect. on the, one of the rows, you do have to increase as well because you're making the body round, oh, yes. aren't you? Yes. So um, it's telling me here that after the uh, second bubble, I'm knitting one in the back and then I'm knitting front and back of the next one, which is your increase stitch. Okay. So there's still three stitches in mm -hmm. between each bubble, but you've got to create one of them in that second, after the second bubble. Okay. So we're just going to knit You're back me there. That. Yeah. And then we're going to knit in the front and then just knit into the back, just like we make the bubble, yep. but we're only doing it 
to increase one so stitch. So that's made one extra stitch. Yeah, so there's your bobble, you've got your three there, there's your bobble, and you get three there because uh, you've made a stitch. And now you do the bobble. Now I make another bobble, then I will do sense. three, then mm -hmm. make another bobble, I'll do one and then increase so I've got two more stitches. Got you. And that's how, it, how you do it going along. This lamb go. is flying out with single figures. Are we? We are Goodness single me. figures, Mandy. That's it's all about goodness. the bobble. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> Lambs are cute. But you get a really, um, really lovely tactile... Um, um, fabric, really, yes. isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's gorgeous. Yes. And Good also, as well, that combination of merino and acrylic yes. gives lovely bounce. Yes. I did say wrong earlier. I said it was iron weight. It's not. It's double knit. It's DK, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's DK. Yeah. But it is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely lovely. And I love that. And you can, that. you know, you can machine wash it at 30 degrees. Yes. So that's well, this really is great. good. So, and there's nothing, um, there's no eyes or anything that can be pulled off. No. So this could be given safe. as a little toy, couldn't it? Yes. It yeah, absolutely, absolutely can. gorgeous. And then, of course, it can be thrown in the wash. Uh, not, not speaking as a parent, but as somebody who knows people with children, I would make two so that when one goes, <laughs> goes in the wash, we've still, still got Lammy to go to bed with. And then they all, they'll all smell the same because if you're using the same detergent, I mean, children have got that heightened smell, which is why mm. they hold it up to their face, isn't it? Oh, it's because so the right. smell of it as well, isn't it? That's why some children can go to sleep better if they've got mum's t-shirt or dad's right. dad's, dad's t-shirt or you know lammy 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 yeah love Haven't it got to worry about um them not falling asleep without their beloved toy perfect perfect well uh the lamb kit is lionel lamb Lionel, Lionel, lamb knitting kit with free knitting needles worth four pounds you're welcome you're welcome at 21.99 Le mouton et l'appel Lionel. If you say so. All my schoolboy French is <laughs> flooding um, back, Mandy. Je ne comprends pas. Uh, vous anglais? Non, non, <laughs> un peu, un, un petit peu. A little bit of English. I'm afraid so, I'm afraid so. I'll do my best. Gorgeous, selling really fast though. If you want your little Lionel lamb, you will need to get it. But of course you could if you wanted, especially if you were going to use it as a decorator bear, you could put a little ribbon um, bow around the neck, couldn't you? A little could. blue one, a little pink yeah. one. I would sew it on though. Sew it on, mm. yeah. Or just use it as a decorator doll. If yes. You want it sitting on a shelf, not Absolutely. to play with. Yeah. But um, you know, just gorgeous. Now the crochet version, also proving popular. Here we go. Still got the bobble stitch now. Well, it's actually a, a puff stitch. A puff stitch. Yes, but some people call it bobble. Some mm -hmm. people call it puff stitch. So um, there's there's several different ways of doing sort of bobbles in um, in crochet. Right. So. Um, I, Do you have a demo for the yes, crochet? Yes, awesome. Let is. me pass that over to you. Yep. Thanks, Mandy. But it does have a similar look, doesn't it? Yes, it, it is just, um, it's like you've got the knitted version and you've got the crocheted version. And, yeah, um, there's and this is Laura. Of, of crocheting, yes. So Laura the lamb. Laura the lamb. So you've got your full instructions, you've got somewhere to make notes if you decide to mm -hmm. Perfect. change the way you want to do things. And I always, I do always pull out the centre because I just find it a lot easier and you, you, you it doesn't dance. jumping about. Uh -huh. <laughs> so here, um, what the bubbles come through actually on what I would call the wrong side, mm -hmm. but that's not a problem because mm -hmm. some people might like the more. Um, see, in amigurumi, you get a smooth side and a, and a rough side. Right. The rough side is normally the inside. Yeah. Um, whereas because of the way your uh, puff stitch works, yeah, it comes out on the wrong side. But you, you, you wouldn't know the difference. No. That that you wouldn't know that's the wrong side. No, no, no. It looks <laughs> lovely. I like so, it. I like the texture. Yes. I, um, I had a message actually for you from Christine saying, thanks so much for this demo, Mandy. I was making a baby cardigan and it had bobbles on. I struggled with it and found that my bobbles were going to the back. Oh, you have to pop them. You have, you have to, to pop, pop them. them. Yeah. That you have sounds to pop like them too before you fun. do your next, <gasps> your next, almost like that bubble wrap, isn't it? You just yeah. <laughs> I bet the instructions don't say that, do they? Top tip, pop your bobbles. Yep. Good. <laughs> so, 
where would I be here? So here you'd have to start with, um, if I'm starting with the puff stitch, you go um, over your hook first, into your stitch, and engage your yarn by bringing it over the hook. You pull it through, but then you kind of stretch your hook a bit, so you're stretching that stitch. Okay. I then hold that with my index finger, and go over the hook again, hold that in place. Even while you're sort of moving the stitches down your hook, you go in the stitch again, engage the yarn, pull it through, stretch it up, hold it over your hook, hold it into your stitch, engage your yarn, pull it through. And you do this four times, so mm -hmm. you end up with nine stitches on your hook. So here, if we were to count all these, there would be nine. So mm -hmm. there's the one that you start with, yep. and then there's two, four, six, eight. So then all we do is yarn over and we wiggle your hook all the way through those so it comes out that end. Mm -hmm. That then pops your, um, your bubble Puff. stitch, mm -hmm. yep. and then you just double crochet into the next stitch. And it will tell you whether you've got to do one, two or three, whether you've got to do a one double crochet and an increase. So I've probably got to increase in this one because of the row that I'm on. So to increase, I would just do two doubles in the same stitch and that's your increase. Okay. And you just do that regularly when, where the pattern tells to you around. There is a, a numerical, a mathematical um, formula for mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. so that your circle grows every time. So we're going to do a puff again, so I'm going over, into the next stitch, engage my yarn, and bring it through and stretch it. Because I, the way I hold my yarn, it's automatically there just to come over, and as I go through the stitch, mm -hmm. it's already coming in under the yarn, so yes. the yarn is already over, and you're pulling that through. If I was to hold it differently, you'd still just come over, through, you'd still just bring the yarn over the hook, bring it through. The same as if you'd got a knitting style of doing it, you come over the yarn, you hold the stitches before you go in, bring it through, and then you'd go over, mm -hmm. and then you'd pull them through all those nine stitches. There, just do it gently, mm -hmm. and then, then once you do the next double crochet stitch, it pops it. Yeah. And there we have it. So easy. It's Look at that tasty. lovely texture. Yeah. It's, it's just like a, what do they call those really cute sheep? Is it Valois? Oh, Something, know. they look like teddy bears. They're gorgeous. Oh, I don't know. It's just really cute. They're also a little bit like those fidget, um, yes, those fidget pop, poppers. Pop yes, yeah. Yeah. And so you can pop them to the right side if you prefer oh, to. Fair enough. Uh -huh. So you can pop them through, but I just find that as they're that side, as you're working, yeah. then, let's leave them that side. It ain't side. broke, don't <laughs> fix it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And what sort of level crochet do you need to be to um, make Laura? Well, normally they'd say the puff stitch is a more intermediate, but I'm still a believer, if you, even if you've just learned the basics, you could do this because it's all about learning, isn't it? Yeah, and repetition. It is repetition. Yeah. So if you know how to hold your hook and your yarn and do a double crochet, then you could do this. Yeah, yeah. And just take it slowly. Yeah. Just stitch by stitch. It's fun to learn a new stitch, isn't it? It is. It I'm is. just doing a bag with crochet and I'm oh, learning yeah. like um, cluster. Oh, yeah. Like cluster stitches. Yes, clusters. Yeah. Well, clusters, um, if they're done in all the same stitch, mm -hmm. end up being a bobble. Yeah, yeah, I see that. But if you do a cluster over four stitches, it, it's more like a an upside down fan. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of things you can do mm. with, with um, crochet and a hook. But I would consider yarn. myself very, very beginner level. Yeah. Oh, no, but I mean, I you learn one stitch yeah. and then you repeat it lots see, of times. For me, as soon as you can do the basics, yeah. you're not a beginner anymore. Exactly. That's exactly. What I, see. I like That's that what attitude I a lot. <laughs> now, what about some crochet Easter eggs? These are cute. Cute. These are cute. So in this box of goodies, here's one of the crochets. How cute is that? Love that. Really nice. Now each of your kits 
makes three crochet Easter eggs. These would be really fun, maybe hung up. You could do a little little eye cord or a chain or something to hang them. They would be cute. You could put them in a little bowl or something like that. Very sweet. I know um, some people that have those um, twig trees, just small yes. ones. Yes. And then they get them out for all the um, different seasons exactly of the year that. and decorate them accordingly. What a nice idea. Really nice. And I love the sort of baby colours that they're done in as well. It's very cute. Um, you get three balls of yarn all in bow baby. You get the soft blue, you get the vanilla and you get that lovely pink. You get your crochet hook, a wool needle and all of the stuffing that you'll need. Plenty of yarn there to make your three eggs and those eggs are different. So you get like the big white chocolate egg. <laughs> for, that's <laughs> definitely for me. Love white chocolate. Yeah, absolutely. The big best. bow on there. You get your little zigzag egg and then you get your large zigzag egg as well. And I guess really you could add this extra embroidered detail on any of the bands that you wanted to if you wanted to add a bit of extra embellishment. So full kit, everything you need. You don't need to put anything into this kit no, at all. No, you don't. No, and, and like you said before about people who can't have chocolate, um, if, if they've got specific makes of chocolate that they can eat, then mm -hmm. you can um, add these to their uh, oh, finding yeah. Easter egg. Um, yeah, that's game, lovely. Aren't they? I like that a lot, and I love the idea of using the twig tree for yes. those. Yeah. Fab. What should we do next? We do. We have a couple of makes that aren't knitting that are still woolly. They are felt. So we've got, look at this, daffodils. A dozen daffodils. Lots of these have gone on pre-order. These are absolutely gorgeous. Look at those. Now, this time of year, my house has always got a jug of daffodils yes, in it. Yours yeah, too, Mandy. Absolutely, got flowers. Yes. Such a harbinger of mm, spring, aren't they? Yeah, they just they make really me feel are. jolly. These Bright ones you rude. can have year round, you can have them somewhere that you can't put a vase of yes, real flowers. In, in sort of um, care homes or hospitals, yeah, hospital. places like that that don't allow fresh flowers anymore. Then, exactly. Um, you can take these in with you. And look at what you get. So you get your full instructions. You're going to make these again and again, aren't you? Fourteen ninety nine, amazing. You get your full instructions. You get all of your felt. You get your florist's wire. Yeah. You get your embroidery flosses. Yeah. Your templates. Everything you need. I really like how they've been tied together with a bit of jute. It's, yes, it's just so natural. So classy. Isn't it? So lovely. Yeah, they look beautiful. Yeah. Little bit of sewing yeah. in this, but well, not much. That's just my photocopies. <laughs> oh, gotcha. No, you know you can keep the pattern. <laughs> these ones. I felt, I'd rather than cut the pattern because I, I don't agree. like doing that to patterns. No. Um, I photocopied my bits. I'm the same. I'm the same. And, uh, so you've got full instructions, really nice detailed instructions yeah. as well. Everything's yeah. really nice quality, the, uh, isn't it? You need to know how to do the satin stitch, the blanket stitch and things like that. So the, the instructions of those are all in there. Yeah, yes, absolutely it's lovely. Like more mature they are about quality. Yeah, oh, yeah, I can see definitely. that in oodles. Yeah. Do we have a little demo with that? Yes, I've, I'll I've pass got this a down the bus. Bits. And then I just it's want to there. show this other kit as well, which are for these adorable sleepy bunnies. You can make eight using the kit, and they're all sugared almond colours pistachio and rose, lemon. What about, ooh, what about using these for an Easter egg hunt? Because often could. Easter egg hunts become a little bit about sort of quantity over quality. Yes. And instead you could hide these and then get your egg at the end. Absolutely, yes. Couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, you can make more of a game of it rather make than a game. just collecting chocolate. Yeah. You know, because some children can overdose on chocolate, Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And also it puts a lot of pressure on, you know, to sort of buy loads of chocolate eggs. Whereas these can be brought out every year. You can use them again and again. Um, you can hide them in all sorts of places. And then when they get found, you win an egg to go with them. I love that. Again, simple hand sewing. Love the embroidered detail on the little faces. They're all having a little snooze there. Absolutely gorgeous. Love that. Right, twelve ninety nine for those. So, so, will you show me how to make a daffodil, please? Yes, but I've I've lost one of my pieces. Oh. <laughs> so we'll start with the trumpet, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> so I cut out my pieces and um, pin them, and then I cut round them. But you know, I've got some tailor's chalk. You could draw round them mm -hmm. and then um, cut them out. Yeah. 
And then you do the same with your, your petals. Do you want me to cut out this circle for you? Oh, yes, please. Yeah, There's what colour? Fabric scissors. Um, dark green. Dark green, mind. yep. So just a circle. Just a circle. No problem, yeah. I'll do that. So um, on the uh, petals, you actually cut into that line there so that you can manipulate them better. So that's that. On the trumpet, I'm going to do it with yellow thread. Do a little bit of um, blanket stitch. Mm -hmm. But first you have to cut, I believe it's nine. It tells you in the in the pattern how many times to cut it here. Do you want me to have a look? Yeah. Um. Might be 12. Make nine small oh, cuts nine. to so make 10 flaps. Three, four, well remembered. Five, six, nine. There we go. And what that helps you to do is, is once you've made your trumpet and we've sewn it, and all you have to do is a, a running stitch down here. Okay. Do you need the markings putting on that circle? No, they need to be cut. They oh, need they need to cut, be cut. Them, yes. Like almost to the centre? Yes. Oh, no, so you've got three triangles. Oh, I gotcha. Three. I gotcha. Yeah. Hey. So I'm just going to split this piece of thread. I've done it too quickly because it's going to not. Do work. you actually cut through the paper as well? You can do. And that's another reason why I've photocopied them because then I can, if I can't keep them, then they can disappear can't they so I always do my um, slip knot as a knot because then I can undo it mm -hmm. and all I'm going to do here is use a running stitch to close this trumpet okay it's got this all explained mm -hmm. just finding a little bit fiddly with my fingers <laughs> Yeah. That one. I guess you could use any any colour you like to do this this trumpet because there's no orange in the kit. So and here and then what happens with these are areas that you've split is mm -hmm. you have to splay them out. Oh, I see. So that they ah, uh, gotcha. Get in there and then you just stitch each one down onto the petals. I don't know if you'd be better off putting some kind of tube or in there to so mm -hmm. that it keeps it cha its mm -hmm. shape. But I'm literally going up there, down here. And that's all I'm doing to fasten these this trumpet. <coughs> Do it quickly because then I can show you about the wire. you're not going to see the underside of it so right don't worry about the uh, the large tacks underneath mm -hmm. and you know with nature you know don't worry that you're even seeing those stitches because nature isn't perfect nature no, is a thing absolutely. of its own isn't it so yeah. it can be however you want it to be yes you yes you might want to go um I really like the fact that those stitches are visible. I think it adds real yeah. dimension and absolutely yes prettiness to so it. You could do that. So I'm love that. Just going to take that one off now. I haven't fastened it off. You should fasten it off, but for demo purposes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not going to. So then you get rid of your wires. Yeah. And you bend it like so. It looks like so. So the top, I'm literally just going to bend over my finger. So that it, it has a nice curve to it like that and then yep. it will tell you you know about a third of the way up just bring it up like that mm -hmm. and that's all you have to do okay now these little oops, pieces here it's what you wrap around here ah, okay. and then you'd stitch that yeah and then this do you want I'm the pattern? something. <laughs> I 
Okay, see, I've done the trumpet. I've done that. Yeah, so then, so that bit goes just, uh, up over to that. the end, oh, and then you that. stitch and then you stitch that, that onto on that. to the back. Yes, yeah. I'm with you. Oh, we just need a slightly smaller I've been on loop. holiday since I pressed. Have you? Where have you been? <laughs> went to Centre Parks. Oh, which yeah. one? Uh, we went to Elfden Forest. Is that the one Nottinghamshire? Uh, Suffolk. Suffolk? Yes. Oh, and, did you have a good time? Um, yes, lovely. Yeah, mm. and it didn't rain, so we were really happy. Nice. And it was warm and, you know, we had the spa and had my oh, nails yeah. done. Oh, Very nice. Everything else. We charged the batteries. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Came back yesterday, and um, or last night. And then I did my prepping on the bunnies and everything, but I did this beforehand. So that Lovely. would sew onto here. Yeah. And you, you literally just sew it how you want to because it should, all your stitches should be covered. Mm hmm. That comes out. So yeah. have you got a finished one? Yes, so I do. See. I do. I have a dozen. Yes. I have a dozen. That's it, so there you. you can see there on the back, um, just where you've got all those little stitches on the back. There they are, on the back. See little tiny stitches, just to hold everything in place and just yeah. to cover up the wire on the back. Makes a nice neat job. I should have cut this job. off, should I? And then I could have just carried on stitching it on. <laughs> stitching it on oh, there. Liz has got you. in touch from Dorset to say, oh, Stuart, you do look adorable in your hat. <laughs> you do. Don't I, encourage I me, agree. Lizzie. I have to agree. <laughs> I love a bit of dress up, Andy. I do, I do. Nothing wrong with it. No. I can remember going to lots of fancy dress parties when I was younger. Because mm. they were all, it's what you did. You we, know. But we do them now. Do you? We, we do, we do. We did a murder mystery dinner party. Oh, wow. For my birthday last month. And I was, I, I was a um, pathologist. Which sounds like it would be terribly serious, but yes. of course it wasn't the way I did it. And um, yes, I had a it. I had a bright ginger wig on. Yes, which some people said made me look about fifteen. Although I did have a bright ginger beard as well. So yes. <laughs> so with the leaves, mm. I've just wrapped the first one around where it's been bent up to cover that um, edge, mm -hmm. and then you get the other one, and that gets. I'm going to put my needle through because I, I really don't like cutting and starting and cutting and starting. Right. I kind of think it's just nice to keep the whole one length the just same. Just keep adding yes. to, yeah, I yeah. agree. So I've done a little stitch so I can come out the other side here. And if you're doing blanket stitch, which is what you do down here, I believe, on this side, if you... You don't happen to have a pen, do you? A pen? I can mm. grab you one. I can grab you one. Thank you. Yeah. I think I've left mine in the green room so he can do his ah, crossword. Of course. <laughs> so what you could do is so that your blanket stitches are all the same size, mm -hmm. just mark your finger. That's clever, isn't it? Do you so, see? So you've got the little marks on your finger. Yep. Yeah. So you would go in. Oh, I've got to do it a bit further up first, haven't I? <laughs> so you'd go in on that mark mm -hmm. and do your blanket stitch mm -hmm. and then your next stitch would go in on very clever mark. and then you just because you're going to move your hand along anyway yes so then you put line it up with your finger yeah. i mean if you wanted to if you get clever enough to hold a piece of paper with all the marks on mm -hmm. fine or it's very clever add a few more marks along your finger it's very clever thank you mandy wonderful lot of demos from you today thank you i've learned a lot i hope you did too thanks mandy now thank the you. daffodil kit that we've got here a dozen daffodils uh, is from Wilkature. it's 14.99 which is amazing value you get everything in your kit to make a whole dozen a big bunch of daffodils that will last and last and last these won't wilt these won't fade absolutely gorgeous We've also got very, very, very popular knitted lamb, Lionel, Lionel, Le Mouton. It's very cute, little knitted lamb with that lovely bobble stitch and then uh, garter stitch arms and legs. Well, they're all legs really, aren't they? But very, very cute. I'm being a purist now, aren't I? We've got more of these in baskets than we've got available, so please check out 
please check out your baskets. Um, all right. Well, Mandy, thank you so thank much. You. We'll see you again very soon, I hope. Yes, yes. Um, awesome. Do you know when you're back? In a couple of weeks. Third. Third. Third of April. Third of April. Yeah. Awesome. Look forward yes, to it. Thank you. Lovely uh, to see you. You too. Really nice to see you. Let's have a look at the menu for tomorrow. It's me presenting. And at 8am we start with Mother's Day deals. We're going to be celebrating mums. At 9 o'clock, clearance. At 10 o'clock, perfect pre-cuts. And at 11, more clearance deals. At 12 o'clock, miss it, miss out, quilt kits. And one little spoiler from me, tell your friends. If you missed out on the birthday saving on the Elna 780 Plus, £500 off the Elna 780 Plus, I'm bringing it back just for the mums tomorrow. So if you're in the mood, if you missed out or if you've changed your mind now and you want to get involved in that 780 Plus, tomorrow is the day. Tell your friends or keep it a secret. I don't mind. Anyway, listen, until tomorrow, take care of yourselves and each other. I will see you bright and early tomorrow.